All right, we'll uh, call the order. Uh, all right, pursuant to Governor Baker's March 12, 2020 order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, this is GL 30A, Section 18, and the Governor's July 16, 2022 revised order extending remote participation by all members in any meeting of the public body. This meeting of the select board will be conducted both in person and via remote participation to the greatest extent possible. Specific information on the general guidelines for remote participation by members of the public and or parties with a right and or requirement to attend this meeting can be found on the town's website. For this meeting, members of the public and committee members may attend the meeting in person, or for those who wish to do so remotely may, may by, by the following instructions at the top of the agenda. For those who are not in person, every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means. Okay, all right. <laughs> and pursuant to MGL 7C 30A section 20F, after notifying the chair of the public body, any person may make a video or audio recording of an open session of a meeting of a public body and may transmit the meeting through any medium. At the beginning of the meeting, the chair shall inform other attendees of any such recordings. Any member of the public wishing to speak at the meeting must receive permission of the chair. The listings of agenda items are those reasonably anticipated by the chair, which may be discussed at the meeting. Not all items listed may, in fact, be discussed, and other items not listed may be brought up for discussion to the extent permitted by law. Okay, so we're calling the meeting to order tonight. Um, well, oh, hold on, Michelle. I have a procedural question. Just come up to the you just need to go to the microphone. Let's see if you're this way. Michelle, with the RSFB Division Street, this is just a procedural question. Um, at the first meeting, I think it was the February 7th meeting, Mr. Orenstein brought up uh, that I, and correct me if I'm not quoting this. Um, Correctly, but that you would recuse yourself with with regard to votes to affordable housing issues. Um, and also, uh, Ms. Davis during CPA also did the same thing. So I'm curious whether tonight, if there are votes with regard to those to affordable housing, that both of you will recuse yourself. Uh, so, yeah. Yes. You would. Well, if you recuse yourself, then we don't have we don't have a poem, and you have to invoke the rule of necessity, which isn't possible tonight. So that's up to you to do. But if you do, we will have to have another meeting. Just yeah. probably one's clear. And I'm just reflecting on I, on your statement, and as a matter of fact, I commented on your statement at Citizen Speak, yeah. saying I suspected a conflict of interest to be present, and I was pleased that you had made the statement that I had made. So I'm just. Like I said, I'm um, just reflecting on that. Okay, and just reflecting on the fact that we have three attendees tonight. Again, I, I cannot immediately recall exactly if we'll have a vote tonight that affects affordable housing, but if we do, yeah, I I may end up reconsidering that. I don't know, but we'll, 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 certainly my intention was to refuse myself. Okay, you realize. But if that happens, then you can get mad at me at that time. Or yeah. I'll complain. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, the chair has delegated to me to read the script for the opening of the hearing. So I um, just want to announce that the Select Board and Finance Committee will discuss the budget after the public hearing and vote on the budget and any other budget related warrant, financially related warrant articles. Um, so as vice chair of the Great Barrington Finance Committee, I will now accept a motion to open the public hearing on the fiscal year 2025 proposed budget. So moved. Make a motion. And do I have a second on that motion? I'll second that. All right. Roll call vote. Richard? Uh, aye. Bill? Aye. I vote aye as well. All right, so the public hearing is now open. Um, and the purpose of the meeting is to comply with the Great Barrington Town Bylaw Article to section 74 that requires that the finance committee hold an open meeting and hearing um, on expenditures. Um, I'll read the, the full statement before any town meeting. 
The warrant for which calls for the expenditures of money or the disposal of any town property. The finance committee shall hold at least one public hearing, in which all persons interested may be heard on any article contained in the warrant, and said committee shall make due report thereon at the town meeting. And the purpose of this meeting is to hear public input as for, on the budget as proposed. Um, that will as will be proposed by the finance committee in the select board. We will be listening to public comments attentively, but will wait to discuss and deliberate on the comments and budget until after the public comment period. So, so the town manager needs to right. So I asked the town manager to print this overview um, on the budget, and then after that we will take public comment. Thank you. So uh, I, I began this budget season by sharing just how difficult it was this year to uh, try to not only maintain services, but also staffing levels and keeping that impact on, on taxpayers in check. And, uh, you know, we have significant increases this year in fixed costs. That's been our biggest challenge, and I think we can all agree on that. We do have a number of uh, updated budget sheets for you. I think you should all have a, a copy in front of you, and I will be sharing a copy on the screen in just a minute. Um, the budget sheets, the, the, the updates that you have reflect the decisions that we made uh, during our working Absolutely. sessions, as well as some of the recommended changes from staff. So I'd like to just walk you through those uh, before we move to the public hearing, because uh, it may change some of the comments we, we hear. So uh, first on that list is revenue projections, and that's the first page in your, right on top of your Patrick. So as a result of uh, the budget reductions, further budget reductions during our working sessions, on top of the uh, $452,000 in initial reductions made by staff and the additional $150,000 of uh, funding for the Ramsdale study, we staff uh, felt it was necessary to take a second look at our revenue projections, and we increased several uh, several of those estimates. So you'll see that uh, reference here on page one. This is also reflected uh, in, in some other handouts as we go through these. So uh, I just wanted to also say that to be as careful and conservative as we possibly can with uh, state revenues coming in below benchmarks at this time, staff is not recommending uh, any further increases in budget lines during this budget process without some uh, balancing reduction somewhere else in the budget. So you'll you'll hear us say that uh, again later if needed, but I just wanted to highlight that. I, I think that's that should be, in my opinion, the theme for tonight's uh, meeting. We're also not recommending at this time any additional use of free cash. Uh, we 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 do have uh, one recommendation that we'll mention uh, in a bit when we get to special articles, but I'll come back to that. So there's three additional uh, changes I wanted to highlight that are again captured in the handouts for, for tonight. First one is that we've changed the funding source for the $200,000 special article for courthouse improvements. We talked quite a bit about that at the last meeting. Uh, we changed that funding source from free cash to the sale of real estate account. We do have a sale of real estate account um, that, that we've had on our books for quite a while now. It has a balance, an, un an unencumbered balance currently of $325,000. So in order to try to keep that $200,000 in our free cash, we're going to recommend that, that we change that funding source to the real estate account. We've received roughly $10,556,000 in opioid settlement funds this year from the state. And as a housekeeping measure, we're also recommending that we move that same amount uh, from free cash to a special revenue fund. And that, uh, that money uh, will need to be used for uh, harm reduction, prevention, and treatment, and recovery services. It's the only thing we can use that, that funding for. And the last item I wanted to mention is that we've created a debt schedule, and that is also in the packet for tonight for our outline here. We just wanted to share that with you since we've had so much conversation this budget season about uh, debt service and the, and the impacts of debt service on, on coming years. 
So as a result of uh, the reductions that I just mentioned, as a result of the proposed uh, reductions that we discussed uh, uh, during our working session, the adjusted revenues and shifting that $200,000 from free cash uh, back to free cash and using an alternate uh, funding source, our tax levy now under this, this revised budget is $30 million $77,375, which is down $201,725. The anticipated tax rate increase that we've been discussing throughout this process is down from $1.46 to $1.14. And the median tax bill increase is down from $641.26 which is where it was at our last meeting, to $499.99. So it's 10.5% uh, to 8.2%. So I will leave it at that. One minute. I was going to suggest also that you may not want to insert all, all of these pages because we're going to be referring to them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll find them. Okay, so. So, do I, so we've opened the public. So, meeting. yeah, so the meeting is, the public meeting is open. Um, thank you, manager. So I do open the floor to public comments. And please come to that. John Gregory, Colin Beck Avenue. Um, I have two suggestions for the budget. First, we need to reduce it, and I know you are doing it, um, but especially in the um, capital expenditures area. Um, we're hollowing, hollowing out our middle class by our high taxes. Many of you know that. I watch my neighbors go. The medium house, uh, home owner in Great Barrington now pays over $6,000 per year, the highest in the house. Maybe it's been down a little bit, but it was over $6,000, so we'll see. Um, I know our DPW had, Joe Abigail has impressed upon the select board how much deferred maintenance of town has built up. Besides spreading out our capital expenditures over time and choosing which are critical, which are nice to have. We should look to maintain our town-owned buildings, many of which are historical and critical. As an example, let me make my second point, we should use the CPA funds, which doesn't increase our tax rate, for qualified expenditures, such as the Ramsdale Library seed money. I think we should ask the CPC committee to meet again and approve the Ramsdale request of $150,000 rather than put it on the backs of our taxpayers. This would also qualify us for a large state grant only offered once in five to eight years. The building is in disrepair. The CPC committee can change its recommendation, uh, its recommended $250,000 contribution to the private owner of Thornwood Inn and the use, use the funds for the Ramsdale instead, which is much less. The owner receiving these funds also sits on the board of the CDC of Southern Berkshires, although he might have resigned recently, but the damage has been done. CPC monies for private parties are optional, but maintaining town assets are a necessity. The CDC of Southern Berkshires is a nonprofit who can raise their own funds. Our CPC has have already given the CDC over a million dollars in addition in previous years. In addition, affordable housing essentially pays no real estate taxes. So the town contributes in other ways by using the load 
from other uh, residents. At the town meeting, we cannot vote for this change unless the CPC meets beforehand to make this recommendation according to the bylaws. I hope it happens regardless of the vote tonight. Um, I would also say that I will volunteer if we pass the $150,000 um, uh, initial seed money, I will volunteer to raise private money. Um, given a $5 million uh, renovation, $3 million would come from the state, $2 million from other sources. I know the town doesn't want to be burdened with more expenses. I'm hoping we could raise $1 million and the other million dollars could come from CPC funds over the next three years. So if we start with $150,000 and pass that, whether CPC or no um, pass it, um, it will give us a great starting point. Thank you very much. Is the microphone still working this time? And you have a hand on for the public if you want. Because I've got oh, news. sure. I mean, I don't have the ability to do no, that. No, so, yeah, just... Yep. Yep. I'll recognize the newsletter has their hand raised. Hi. Hi. Could speakers please identify themselves? And uh, could copies of what was distributed? please be sent to the media immediately. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, please. And I'll remind you to identify your, your name and your street address. Uh, Dion Walter, 253 Lowell Hall Road. Uh, I just wanted to reiterate, as was stated, I think we should pay more attention to our historic buildings not just the library, but all of them. I was actually at the Ramsdale this morning letting an engineer get in. And it's really a travesty when you get in there and realize that nobody's done anything to keep that building going for the past 15, 20 years. The upstairs has tons of junk and other things, making a big fire hazard as the fire alarm system doesn't really work. The downstairs has exposed wiring in several places. And I think it's been a norm for this town to ignore bridges, roadways, and buildings. One of the DPWs, Soup, has been trying his best to do what he can, but I think we're reaching a point where we should really step back from the subsidized affordable housing issue, which is stealing a lot of money and not giving us much, to taking care of what we already have so that townspeople get their money worth for their taxes. If you look at other towns, the libraries are all doing much better. Uh, I lived for a long time in Amherst, and the people who called it Amherst took a lot of ribbing for various things, but they maintain their buildings very well. They still do to this day, and we're lacking that will to do so here. And I think we really need to revisit the issue as Sharon pointed out and try to figure out how we can rectify some of these problems. Thank you. Thank you. Richard Zuko, 17 Highland Drive, registered voter and resident. I represent the VFW at 800 South Main Street in Great Barrington. Last year, the town was uh, grateful. They gave us $1,500 a month. And uh, this year, if uh, the voters approve and if the Finance Committee goes along with it, we'd like to ask for a $700 increase. Thank you. Okay, sir. Is that is that is that reflected in our current budget, or are you asking for no. something? No, uh, we al we already we're in the budget for fifteen hundred. I'm asking for another seven hundred. Okay. So, Mark, is this a, a a new request? No, I did receive this request. Uh, it's it's noted in the the veterans line. Okay, so in our original budget, my recommendation was to level fund it again, only because. We've had to make some very difficult decisions throughout this right. process. So, my recommendation has it has it level funded right now. Does not include the additional seven hundred funds. Okay. Okay. So, is there any uh, additional comment you would? So, 
as I understand it, you made the request to the town manager and he reviewed that request and declined it prior to that. And that was, so it was not in the budget that we received. Is there anything further you'd like to say about why you need that additional 700? Well, uh, COVID nearly killed us. We had money. And uh, when we had to get shut down, our insurance from Wheeler and Taylor is approximately 2,000 or more a month. Our elect, uh, no, that's the electric bill, excuse me. Elect our, our electric bill is 2,000 a month. Uh, Wheeler and Taylor is about 1,800 a month. <laughs> now, we wanted to give up the insurance, but we couldn't because we had the liquor license in there. So we just paid for a year and a half for nothing. For nothing. We even wanted to, we thought about giving up the liquor license, but it's a club license. If we gave it up, we'd never get it back. So we just paid and paid. We were down to $2,000 when we opened back up. And uh, right now we don't owe anybody and we have some money in the bank and uh, hopefully we could survive for about five more years. We're all get pretty old. And, uh, and then that'll be it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, there's no one on the other side. Michelle Bear, 70 Division Street. Um, I'd like to, I agree with what Sharon Gregory has stated in her comments. Uh, I have several budget concerns. Uh, first, um, after listening to all the budget meetings, I have a high concern regarding the $3.5 million road project on South Main Street. Uh, there was reference to part of the reason for the project was because of the new housing down on South Main Street, uh, Berkshire Housing being one. And uh, the CDC project that's down there. Um, when, from what I recall, I don't remember discussions regarding you would need a new roadway down there if these projects went in. Uh, 3.5 million is a lot of money. Uh, I've been down that way. I'm not seeing the need. Much like Mr. Reed, he didn't see the need on North Plain Road. Uh, however, if you ride a 12 speed bicycle down North Plain Road, you will see some sort of need. So some of it is, you know, what my perception is. So I do object to that expense. Uh, my second objection is the $750,000 in reserve funds for the Habitat project on North Bay Road. And according to the budget, in the event, 3.2 million isn't enough for the project. Um, I don't recall this coming up during discussions with regard to this project as well. So again, in an effort for openness and transparency to the taxpayers, I think these things need to come up. Um, I had expressed some concern regarding the Railroad Street Youth Project, the second floor, an additional $1 million request. Uh, the community impact fee is really restricted what you can do with it. I did pull uh, registry records with regard to the building. I did see that it's written in the paperwork that the building reverts back to the town from the youth foundation if it's not used for youth. I'm a little disappointed that part of my concern is number one, it seems like a sudden request. Um, and it's unfortunate with Wisconsin School being where it was and a huge building would have made a wonderful home for the Railroad Street Youth Project. And maybe that money could have been used to refurbish the Wisconsin School for the Railroad Street Youth Project. Um, concern regarding the repair to our firehouse, if I understood correctly, it's only 13 years old. Time, time's going by pretty quick. I'm a little shocked that it, it needs such repairs already. Uh, part of the reason being it has a flat roof. Uh, in this area, the big joke is mine, the Mountain Regional High School with this flat roof. Um, I went to school there and I remember walking down the halls with the rain barrels in the hall. And I graduated in 76, along with the chair of the select board. And so the school wasn't that old back then. So we didn't learn anything from that. And we went and built a firehouse with another flat roof. Um, I think that's just poor planning again. Uh, overall, as a resident of Housatonic, uh, the proposed tax increase, even the reduced increase, uh, is going to be difficult to manage, particularly for Housatonic residents 
for undergoing poor water quality. And um, also on the horizon is the a new school or renovated school project. We just can't withstand it anymore. As I've stated before, some of us who have lived here for years and worked hard for our homes, some lived for decades, if not more in those homes, are being forced out of Great Barrington or forced to sell our home, homes. And to be honest, I, I feel we're being pushed into affordable housing. So I plead I would really, particularly our representatives from Homestatonic, pay special care to these expenses. Thank you. Uh, Red Path, 190 Castle Hill Avenue. Um, I guess two, or two general lines of questioning. Um, the, the Finance Committee, is it under your purview to make sure that all revenue areas are, are tapped, and specifically the CPA money and the community impact funds? Um, Not really, but I mean, we're, um, we're certainly interested. Our, I think our role is more oversight. And the yeah, I mean, I guess from a, from a, I guess the community impact money yeah. or even the CPA money, I don't know why the town doesn't request that every board or every every division of the the, the government sort of go through and figure out whatever impacts have been done for and for the marijuana. I'm sure there's more police calls or there's more trash to help or lawyers fees or what have you. Um, that's one impact. Clearly, the you know the harm reduction is another piece of it. So um, I don't know if any of that has been measured, but I think from a structured perspective, there should be some request to make sure that each department submits some impact statement around the, the impact of marijuana. And as far as I know, that hasn't been done. Can I just clarify? The C, you're off the CPA? The CPA has nothing to do with marijuana. Correct. C, okay. Community Impact and Community Preservation Act, CPA. Right, that has nothing to do with marijuana. Right, they're right. both. Right, the two separate. Well, both. The, 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 the town should, should have each uh, committee or each part of the town should apply for CPA money specifically. No, no one should apply, with you, but there's a okay. there's a distinct committee that makes a recommendation to town meeting, and that's right. how it's set up in the town. But so we is there is that so each each part of the, the town is and is requested by the town manager. You guys to request funds through CPA. Uh, and I would say CPA. we encourage it, but they don't all, they, we encourage it. They don't all get approved by the CTC. So that, to, those are two different questions. Are they applying for the money? Yes. And some every, of them, every part of the town is applying for CPA and CPI money? It, it, it comes under no. historic. So, can I finish? It comes under sure. historic open space and affordable housing. Okay. So it wouldn't be appropriate if it didn't fit those three categories. So, so and not everyone. Per, when appropriate, is each department requested to put in, make requests to that end? I'll let Mark answer that. I believe it. Shoot your head, no. So, no, what I meant was not every. Department is applying for CPA funds. Well, and I think he, he clarified that that wouldn't be appropriate. So, in, in some cases, right. So, but but is there is there any sort of request or or uh, there's no edict from you guys? Like, if there, you know, go and you know, see if see if anything that's in your purview can can apply for these funds. Like, why wouldn't you do that? We're not specifically requesting that departments do that. The CPA has uh, been around, the CPC has been around for a long time. I think um, most of our department has, not all, uh, are very familiar with the process. Joe's very familiar with the process. Uh, and sure. we do have several town applications in uh, each cycle. So sure. I mean, Joe's busy, you've got a thousand things to do. But if it's like you have to do this, then that's, you know, that's an, a more, that's an opportunity for the CPA money or more trash, you yeah. know, Joe, just, that money, which just, has just ask, I mean, there, how many did you put in this year? Four. And you okay. got how many approved? Two. Two. So okay. You, and the police and fire and every department? Well, if it comes up, I, I can't okay. think of where the police would qualify for any. Well, for CPI, definitely. No, no, this is all CPA money. We're, we're talking about both. We're talking funds, of, yeah. You're so, talking about community so impact. So now, now I'm switching. Community okay. impact. Yeah. So there's, a, there's been more police calls to, you know, where about the fire guys run with paramedics. Is there marijuana in the scene, you know, et cetera, et cetera? The, the police department did apply for community impact funds and they were awarded, uh, I don't remember the exact dollar amount, but they were awarded uh, pretty close, if not the full amount this year. So every year we announce those awards, we post them publicly, we share sure. them with the media. They're all, they're not only on our website, but we share them with all the local media outlets as well. Right. So it sounds like you're not committing to requesting that each department we're going to apply for these funds every year. Can you, no, you make that there's commitment? No, there's no formal request. Can you do that, though, is what I'm saying? Sure. Okay, good. 
The other thing is that um, the, the items that we're, we're talking about at, at town meeting and in the budget cycle, is there any sort of like follow up? Like, for example, just I don't know, a couple of ones like there was the that the town dump the transfer station, like the SOSB kiosk a couple of years ago, we, you know, the town said, yep, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We voted on it. It hasn't happened. So, and that's just one thing off the top of my head. I don't even know. I'm sure there's others. We can ask around. We'll probably find others. But is there any sort of like report? And I think even yesterday or you were, or the Monday referring to sort of the assessment of, of your position. Like, is there any sort of like coherent dashboard report of what, you know, what the status of initiatives that the town had voted on? So we had voted on things. Like, what happened with some of them? You know, so we know where all those. We have priority planning sessions twice twice a year. Once and if that like can we see like right now, like what that what the outcome is of those? We do discuss that at those meetings. Yeah, and we share that that sheet on our website. It's publicly available. Of all the so I can go look right now and see why the transfer station sticker thing. No, not that not that uh exact project on I'm saying our, our town wide priorities are discussed. I mean, we have numerous projects. I, I think Joe can probably share an update on that. It's not as simple. I, I did mention recently that kiosk is not as simple as a Coke machine. If, if it was, sure. I mean, I get those things like don't happen. Okay, I get like what it's more complicated. Fine, but is there any sort of report out? It, it requires internet access, and that's been uh, at this point the the, the barrier. So just sure. I'm not talking about that specific thing. I don't want to get double in the details, yeah. but like there should be a process for us as taxpayers um, that we voted on something. We go see the status of something. Yeah, uh, just a brief comment. I, I I hear your question. There is a there is a process to see the status of, of, of a long list of projects, and that is the select board's I believe semi annual uh, priority status meeting, where they go through a spreadsheet, laundry list of items, probably thirty items or so, and they go through exactly where the town staff are in implementing that project or not. I is looked. It, I is that, is that, on their website. Yeah, it's is that, not. It's it. The, it's it is not that easy to find. It's not as accessible as we'd all like it to be, or I, as I'd like it to be. So I hear you there, but it is. It, it, we need to figure out the date of the select board meeting, and then it's very clearly in the in the YouTube video of that particular meeting, and you can see it in exhaustive detail. So that's there is a, there is a process in place to do what you're requesting. It may not be the, the perfect process, but the process is definitely there. Yeah, I just again just to echo what you were saying the other day, like let's let, make that easier so we don't have to like scroll through the YouTube video to figure out the status. It, it is it's on the select board page. It's very clear. It was a clear tab. This is the priority planning sessions. In addition to that sheet, when we when Joe presented all the various projects that uh, are underway currently, that page of seven uh, sorry that uh, update was seven pages long. So we do share a lot of information during those sessions, and I would highly recommend that you attend those if you're looking for regular updates on capital projects. Right. Well, I mean, again, as said, like we all, you know, you shouldn't have to go like attend meetings and fail to like figure out what it is. And if we want to attend meetings, great, we can attend meetings, but you should be able to see that. So yes, I get it. I'll go home and Google. Thank you. Yeah, there's no one else online. Okay. Any other public comments we should be doing? All right. Yeah, I'm just going to make one uh, comment to respond to, to a couple of the comments that were made regarding affordable housing. I would just say, as as a matter of public record in Great Barrington, that certain affordable housing properties, notably uh, Windrush, the new property south of Guido's, and the Bentley houses on on Bridge Street, um, they are substantial payers of property taxes. They are not exempt from taxes at all. I, I so and that is a matter of public record. You don't need to rely on me. You can call the assessor's office and check that out. Okay. You just need to close the public hearing. Yeah. Okay. So okay. Oh, we just have a hand up. Oh, okay. I assume it's not Chris Rumble. <laughs> Chris. Hi, I'm Chris. Um, yeah, I would like to to know if there is something um, in terms of controlling the. Chris, yeah. Sorry to interrupt, you, Chris, but I should have reminded you earlier. Can you state your name and address, full name? Yes. Christoph Pichard, eighty-three Hollenbeck, resident. Uh, yeah, I would like to to know if there is some sort of control of the tax increase. Uh, 
unfortunately uh i'm getting old and i hope i'm the only one uh but um I'm discovering retirement and i see the decrease of my income on one side and on the other side i see the increase of my real estate taxes and I, i'm just wondering if there is some sort of cap some sort of way of managing the increase or am i going to have less and less money coming in and more and more coming out all right Chris, i know you're asking a question and i guess i just want to respond that i think i hope you see that during this meeting we are trying really hard to put some controls on it and i guess i can speak for myself that this year seeing where we're at in terms of the increases that we just can't do anything about for the coming year um i think it's on all our minds to look to the future where we can put more controls on so i guess i'll just say that all right thanks thanks for your comment there's another hand though. yeah Hey, thank you, James Bailey, who's a tonic. Uh, I just want to reiterate what Mark uh, Prohinsky had stated. Um, we're going to have to make some tough decisions, very difficult decisions. I'm not sure if many of you are aware of this, but on a daily basis in Great Barrington and who's a tonic, families make tough decisions financially every day to survive. Think about that when you Think about the budget, please. Um, you also need to understand that it's extremely alarming to me as a veteran that one of the first cuts we considered was veterans. I'm sorry, Mark. That's that's offensive to me. I'm very sorry. What's offensive to me even more so is the fact that $750,000 is being requested by, I assume, Chris Rembo, because we were lied to, and I'm going to say it flat out, lied to in many meetings, and that's public record, that all the funding for that Alden property was going to be funded through state grants, period. $750,000? You've got neighbors in that community struggling to pay their taxes. And you want to take $750,000 when you're arguing over $700 that Mr. Zuko had requested? You should be ashamed of yourselves that you would even consider not giving veterans what they request. These are men and women who were willing to give their lives so you as a board could sit there and make decisions for us. I would ultimately easily decide $700 over $750,000 of lies that we were told. That's ridiculous. Whoever bid that $3.2 million went for a grant for $3.2 million ought to be ashamed of themselves if they were off by a quarter of that. If you bid a job and you were off by 3%, you'd probably lose your butt. We're talking $750,000. That's not chump change. And as we all struggle, and as Mark pointed out, we're going to have to make tough decisions. Think about that. You have elderly people making tough decisions every day, whether they're going to go to the grocery store this week. We need to stand up and take care of the people in this community. You have a responsibility, and people <clears throat> need to be held accountable. Thank you. Thanks. Just give another minute for anyone who might want to raise their hand. Somebody new? Yeah. Okay. Seeing no one, no one else coming up or other hands raised. Uh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Uh, Young Logan, 253 Long Pond Road. 
Is the redoing of this property still on the books, or is that something that's been put off? I kind of lost track. We'll go through all of that. I think that's most of that's been taken out, hasn't it? We did discuss yeah, that the last meeting. No, yeah, yeah, almost all. But almost all of it's out. Okay. Yeah. And the rationale for a new pickup truck for the fire chief? We've all gone through that. It's where it's going to be used for another use. It's going to be repurposed, and this one is getting long, long into. We need one for the building inspector. Okay. I just want to thank everybody for their questions and their comments and for attending. And um, I will now accept a motion to close the hearing. I move that we close the public hearing. I'll second that. Any further discussion? Roll call vote, Richard. Aye. Yeah. Aye. And I vote aye as well. Um, the hearing is now closed. Okay. Thanks. So we've all called to order the joint meeting of the select board and the finance committee. Um, it's gonna there are gonna be four parts to this. We'll see how this goes tonight. We may have to do some things on another night yet to be determined. Um, the first is discuss and vote on the operating budget. Discuss and vote on the capital budget, discuss and vote on the special articles, and discuss and vote on the Clerk of Health Legal School District assessment. So we'll start in the order I said the operating budget. And I think from what I heard last time, the um, finance committee who makes the recommendation would like to briefly go through each department. And you have the just so we're all clear on it. The sheets that we have right now obviously haven't been updated. No, sure they have been. Do you have the changes that we have in the departments somewhere? Okay, perfect. And we'll try to make this as painless as possible, but it may take a while. So oh, I can yeah. I just ask how are we doing this? We're going budget to each by budget. So that I'm well, sorry, how are we doing this? We're going through each department. Well, I thought that your request, and I don't think it was unreasonable that we go um page by page under tab six. And um usually what we would do is the finance committee and select board separately would vote whether to recommend it or not. Okay. Does that make sense now? Yeah, yeah I, that would be how I can see it done. Yeah, yeah. I always want to do how you want. <laughs> okay, so let's just give a minute for this to come on screen. Because there's been so many moving parts, I does everyone be patient tonight? Is once we're done tonight or once we're done at some point we will these there will be updates okay. but not till we make our final uh, recommendations mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay so what i'm going to ask staff to do when i call out page one select board town manager yeah. the three of you and us I know it's not separated necessarily that way. If you see anything that says it affect this page, just tell us what the thing is. And I know that may take a few minutes and that's coming. So we are on page one, tab six. And just so everyone's clear, just for various reasons, the finance committee has three people tonight. It has to be a unanimous vote to be recommended. Okay. The select board could put something on themselves, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but we may get to a point where you vote two to one, and that's not a recommendation. You have to have three votes. Okay. So that's just just procedural. And the so, failure to have a unanimous vote then means it's not recommended. Yes. Okay. And can we enlarge what's on the screen? Sure. Turn it up. Sure. It's just it's so teeny. Mm -hmm. It's impossible to see. Do you? 
Yeah. 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 Was there travel, travel and training, as I recall, no, the first three items? The first three yeah, items, was, uh, contracted services was reduced by $3,000. So, Mark, I have a comment. So, let's just thinking of going through. Can we start with what's the reduction amount? It's still a little hard to see. What's the total reduction amount? That's what so, he's doing right now. I know, it's just a little hard to see. And then say what line it is. The total yeah. from all reductions? No, no. Select board. The first line there says three. It's still Mark, hard you want to pump to see. in one more time? It's still really hard um, to read. At least to me. I mean, I, yeah, I, I you're think you're never going to get there. Well, let me ask you a question. Chris, you have that copy, don't you, Curtis? Or I see it now. And we have a copy. That we got last time. Do you guys? You can see it. Yeah, so I know. But I also. Okay. All right. So yeah. this is okay. So, so the people at home can see this. We're going to print it. So, okay, so it's but it's three thousand and that's coming so out. Just wait for yeah. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna amend your request a, a bit by saying I wonder if you could start the comments on each page by saying what the net change is to the total number on the bottom. That would be fine if they had that. We're asking them to do something they don't have. They're all individual line items. Okay. So we're we're asking for the impossible right now. Okay, that's the, a fair point. Yeah. The total increase for what you see in the recommended line is only 0.84%. And we've since then uh, reduced that by $6,000. So I don't know what that exactly is. Okay, so but. I'm sorry. So you're saying you, you are able to say that the, the based on the cuts that you've made, the total had gone from 133 to roughly 127. Am I hearing that right? In the select mm. board budget. And the select board budget. No, for, no, no. The total budget is four seven nine. He's talking about the total total budget. So. So very. Right. So think, another. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. I, was, I think so, Mark. There's. It looks like you've taken six thousand off the select board budget. Is that correct? correct. Right. Okay. Right. And now we'll talk about where. Yeah. Okay. And, and my point being is that six thousand is easy. You can all do that math. There's going to be some that aren't that simple and quick. Okay. So, okay. So I'm not sure we, so the line items, we can all read as this, let this go around. Contractor services, publications, and travel and training. I'm sorry, I was writing something else down. Can you go? Uh, it's coming around here, so it's right there. I'm sorry. Right, but we're, um, so it's coming out of, of these three areas. Those right there. Okay. Does everyone have a copy? Can we just, can we just yeah. pass these? Yes, yes. Yeah. please do. Here. Yes. So this to do this process correctly. So right now, it's, this isn't necessarily. Let me look at this. This is not the total reductions that you see here. We no longer can refer to this as marks. This is what voted on by the finance and select board. So these are really the ones we voted on the last. I understand. Time. That. So just to be clear, that we made some adjustments and these are new sheet. So what we. Okay, what we voted on last time was a total budget. What we were presented was a total budget 479409. From what I can see, it's 473409. I can do that math, but I can't remember. Yep. So that would be our vote if there are no other changes to be made. And this was taken, and we took um, 3,000 out of contracted services, 1,000 out of publications. And two thousand out of travel and training. Correct. Okay. And do we uh, do we have a motion? So we're we are voting on each page. Correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. As tedious as that may be, it's the most efficient way of doing it. So would it be appropriate to say that I make a motion to approve the budget? For the select board town manager, including the um, removed items that we have just discussed. I think that's fine. Is that okay. I mean, I'm fine sort of saying and so that the, the select board um, town manager budget is 473409 And that's a total budget. Right. I'll second that. Any further discussion? 
Vote, Richard? Aye. Mayor? Aye. I'm aye as well. Okay. Select board. Motion? I second the motion that the plan is submitted. Just so it's the same motion. Do I have a second? Second. Discussion. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, you said the total budget was 479. 473. 473. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Next on here is the Finance Committee. Would we are removing a whopping one hundred dollars from? Um, uh, no, we're moving fifty thousand one hundred from the proposed budget uh, request. Uh, budget. Let me look at this again. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was already removed. So I'm sorry. It's just one hundred dollars. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. So, so it's really... just the one hundred dollars. Okay, just right. one hundred dollars. And we'll be passing the hat on the three of you for that hundred. Thank, Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes. I move that we approve the budget of the finance committee minus the one hundred dollars of travel and training as outlined today, which would bring our total budget to one hundred thousand two hundred. I'll second that. Could we please? I couldn't hear hand. Oh, I'm sorry. So the total budget now for finance committee is one hundred thousand two hundred. Thank you. Yeah. The motion was to approve the budget we had minus the one hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll second to that. Um, just as a clarification for those who are clear, of that $100,200 budget, $100,000 is the Finance Committee Reserve Fund, which is used for budget emergencies essentially over the course of the year. So that's what it's there for. Uh, any further discussion? No. Roll call vote. Aye. 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 Yeah. Aye. Uh, same motion as finance committee. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. Page three is the town accountant. I don't think there's any changes in this. No, no changes in this. So that one is 204425 I move that we approve the budget as submitted uh, for the town accountant. Of two hundred four thousand four twenty five. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 I make the same motion as the finance committee. Second. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Page four. Technology is three hundred thirty thousand five hundred. And scanning this, I don't remember any changes. Don't see any changes. There were so, no changes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No we're all in agreement on that. Mm -hmm. So I move that we approve the recommended budget for technology of three hundred thirty five thousand mm -hmm. five hundred. I'll second that. Discussion. All in favor. Aye. Aye. I make the same motion as the finance committee. Second. Discussion. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Unanimous. Assessors. Page, page five is assessors. Um, and I think there were two changes on that, which would remove fifteen hundred dollars. One thousand in office supplies and five hundred in travel training. Correct. To be removed, which will bring our total to two thirty four six eleven. I move that we approve the assessor's budget as amended at 234611 I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 I make the same motion as the finance committee. Second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Collector treasurer. So that one right now is there are two changes on this for a total of five thousand one hundred and twenty dollars. So that one is five. Yeah. So when that's more yeah, than yeah. It's just okay, five hundred yeah. on our yeah. So that two, I just want to confirm it's two seventy one three eleven. Say that again. Two seventy one three eleven is the new total. That's not five thousand. Five hundred. 
Oh, it's not 5,000. Yeah, where where are you on? It where? says 4,120. Okay. It says 1,000 here. And 1,000. So it's 5,120. 5, See, this is what I'm reading. Yeah. 5,000. Is that wrong? Hold on one second. I think we're including. I think we're including the um, the initial recommended budget. So we're only removing the budget. So so that is actually incorrect. So it's five hundred dollars. We have so four thousand six hundred and twenty dollars. Two hundred and seventy-one thousand. Well, they took the column. That says select or finance committee reductions, down manager reductions, and added them. You see, right. and, you see and it wasn't yeah. five hundred. Right. 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 So that's okay. where there's a so our Nine net 30. our net change from the, on the printed page is only five hundred dollars. I move that we approve the adjusted collector treasurer budget of two hundred and seventy five thousand nine hundred and thirty one dollars. I second that. Can I just have a point of clarification? Because maybe it's already too late for me. Well, what happened to 4,120? That so, was uh, off of the original uh, requested budget that um, the town manager already removed. The, um, the so these are some things you already removed them? Yes. We were yes. showing the that's, departments that they're, they're cut. Okay, that's pretty confusing. I wish we hadn't done it that way. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, can I fast? So, the new stuff is really the stuff in the yellow, correct? Okay. Right? Not the blue color. Okay. That, I think that. I think Mark was trying to highlight the amount of money that he had he had suggested removing from the budget before right. presenting it at these meetings. Yes. Mm -hmm. in, clear stuff for me to read. Was there um, was there an understanding of the motion that I made? Yes. Yes. Did we approve it all? We did. Didn't we? No, we I did. interrupted you. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. So the motion is to approve the collective treasure budget of two hundred seventy-five thousand nine hundred thirty-one. That is, I guess, the standard yeah. option. And I, I second that motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Go ahead. I'd like to make the same motion as Anthony. I'll second that. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. Next would be human resources. So I just yeah. I, I I share Steve's confusion a bit on this page, but obviously I do think it's laid out the right. Uh, I think it is too. Yeah, I just yeah, didn't understand. Just, we didn't. We didn't. Took us a while to get there, yeah. but I think it's very appropriate to see what the town manager initially reduced the budget by. Yeah. No, I agree. I just sort of figured it out. No, I. Uh, no, it gives us seventy-eight. My biggest critique is the light, small print, but but that's, <laughs> it doesn't help either. <laughs> All right, human resources. I move that we approve the recommended human resources budget um, minus minus the two hundred uh, dollar reduction of to seventy eight thousand nine hundred and fourteen dollars. No, nine hundred and thirty four. Seventy eight thousand nine hundred and thirty four dollars. Yes. Yep. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, Second, uh, repeat the motion that the finance committee just made. Second. Discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Town clerk. Mm -hmm. Now I have this down. It's a $400 reduction. And travel training. Yes, thank you. And what was wrong? I move that we approve the town clerk proposed budget of one hundred fifty-eight thousand nine hundred and forty-four dollars. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I make the same motion as finance committee. I'll second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Conservation. Conservation. Well, it looks like that was four thousand dollars. Four thousand. Where did that come from? I came off of land maintenance. Came off of land maintenance, trail maintenance. That's a revised number. So I move that we approve the conservation proposed budget of $47,173. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 I make this. Then there's an appliance thing. I'll second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous? Planning board. 
community development. So uh, I see there's a ten thousand dollars. No, no, there's no change. No, to the no change. No, no change. Proposed sorry, budget right. that we. I'll learn this eventually. No change to their five thousand six hundred and ten budget. Nothing I personal, Chris. <laughs> I propose that we approve the planning board budget of five thousand six hundred and ten dollars. Do I hear a second? Um, a second, Mark. I guess. Can I get a question? I don't understand the ten thousand in the green column. Where is that? Planning board, not planning. Yeah, this is planning board. I went. I think hey, I'm sorry. What are we? Hey, I'm sorry. Hey. Sorry, dear. not every everything is on right. this sheet. Yeah. See, so, so we are on page ten. Yeah, sorry about that. That's, yeah. No, I could see. I'm good. I'm done that. There were no reductions right. to this uh, one, so my motion stands at five thousand six hundred ten dollars. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Same motion as finance committee. Second. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. All right. Aye. Unanimous. Okay, zoning board of appeals. No change to no a budget of one thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. I move that we approve the zoning board of appeals budget of one thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. I'm second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Same note in this finance committee. Second. <laughs> Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. Planning community development. Yeah. Now, you see right. that's the next one. That would be a reduction of ten thousand dollars. But that's uh, not. Uh, no, it's not recommended. Uh, so there are no reductions. Right. Yeah. So. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Okay. So the planning and community development budget is unchanged at one hundred eighty thousand five ten. I move that we approve the planning and community development budget of one hundred eighty thousand five hundred ten dollars. A second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Um, I'll, I'll make the same motion, but I have a question. Yeah, go ahead, Eric. Do you want a second? Yeah, yeah so go ahead. Sorry. Could you just clarify again $25,000 for economic development? I believe it's for consulting, but I just want to double check. You're exactly right. It's for consulting. And is there any way that we can trim that down or get um, proposed dollars or trimming? That's after trimming. No, no, we you proposed for the trimming, which you did not accept. I so I, the, I would like to move that. I one. think that twenty five thousand goes to a lot of writing um, of grants or other proposals for us. And I think at the this time, right, if my right, recollection is, you thought it was what is it, pound food and penny wise or something. We're getting more yeah. money from the right. money yeah. that is in that long. So, that, it, so it's grant writing pretty much, Chris, or is it consulting? Or, I, I just want to It's not necessarily it's, only grant. It's not a grant. It is cons <laughs> consulting. I mean, I guess I'll just say that, you know, I was on the um, Economic Development Committee for a little while. And, you know, and I think I know that when I was in the audience, the, attending meetings. I also said one of like one of the things we just still are struggling with is to increase revenue. And I know this isn't going to do it for us, but any I think anything that helps us think about economic development and increasing revenue is a good investment. So I, I absolutely believe in economic development. I'm just looking at <laughs> kind of you know I'm trying to find something and um you know virtual regional planning is, is a great resource for us. And I'm sure they charge for their their services, but I'm just saying, is there a wiggle room that you know, can we not have to pay twenty five thousand dollars each year? Last year it was thirty thousand. So I'm just I, I just wanted a clarification. Um, so we we voted that down, but if you want to make an amendment, we can write the again. So is it kind of hourly, like when we communicate with them, it's an hourly rate that we're paying, or is it kind of a a baseline that if you pay twenty five thousand dollars a year, you get unlimited consulting, or how does that? Well, so this line for economic development could you could use it for any economic development purpose. We could hire any consultant that we wanted. It's not necessarily limited to Berkshire Regional Planning Commission. Although last year and this year, that is where a significant portion of that has gone in Berkshire Regional Planning Commission. Now, the RPC is. Funded primarily through the annual assessment that we see above, as well as state grants. When we ask them to do economic development consulting services for us, it is over and above all of their baseline planning services that they provide. 
So mm -hmm. they're acting essentially as a consultant. They're doing extra work. Their rates are much less than a typical private sector consultant because they're funded in other ways. Um, so that's a good thing. We're getting great work for less price when we do use them. Um, again, all, all I can say is, you know, we had suggested that another 5,000 could come out of there, taking it down to 20,000 on that line. So I mean, the actuals are these committees were not yeah. receptive to that. So the actuals right now are 5,363 so far, right? Out of the 30,000. Uh, those are the actual tests of the end of the calendar year. Chris, um, can I follow up on these? Mm -hmm. Can I, I mean, do we use that 25,000 every year or do we usually come in at around 20,000? Could we? The year end actuals for FY23 were 25,000. The 25, and previous years as well? Uh, uh, probably around that. Chris, to put you on the spot for fiscal 23, do you, can you summarize how that money was spent to make, make that all or? Okay. No, okay. that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> it's just that you know we have a BRPC annual assessment that's ten thousand, and then we have you know economic development twenty five thousand, so thirty five thousand dollars right there. Mm -hmm. And I'm just questioning if we're really trying to be frugal. Is there any wiggle room seeing that you know we are getting some consulting anyways from BRPC without having to? Um, Chris, if there's a special permit, for instance, is so that something you would use that line for? Is that possible? No. Uh, all special permits and development projects are just baked into my budget. But if you needed to hire a consultant on that, what, what line would you use on that? To to provide a board with technical advice? Yeah. We would charge the applicant. Okay. okay. Right. And I'm just trying to see. It. It's just you know, thirty-five thousand dollars. It's kind of murky. We have this resource that you know is partially funded by the state. I mean, I'm uh, trying to recall our, our prior conversation on this. I mean, I, I maybe we're. I mean, it's not a grant writer, so it's it's it's, it's you know you have an assistant. It's manager. it's it's typically. So I don't the know. way I, the way I looked at it, and again, we're all struggling to remember how we actually had this conversation, but huh? but these are. It's not grant writing, but it's, it's in the same category in the sense that we're we're spending relatively modest amounts of money in order to create some additional economic activity, which will create the tax paying activity. So can I ask clarification? Yeah. Is it not grant writing, or that it, it could potentially not be grant writing, but it could be grant? It could be grant writing. Right. It's, I think that's kind of where we. Whatever are. services we think are needed to support your strategic plan priorities. Right, and I think that was kind of why we pulled this out, just because there's the potential. For you need to protect it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Chris, can I? Ask, is there? Can you? I mean, if you think back on using this budget line, and I, it's a little to Phil's question, but maybe is there something that happened recently in the town in terms of economic development that you can say this really helped us? Uh, they do support uh, current projects include support of the Massachusetts Broadband um, Digital Equity Initiative, mm -hmm. which are doing digital mm -hmm. equity plan to ensure that people have access and the ability to access the internet, whether for work or school or mm -hmm. job seeking, uh, to make sure people can connect. It's really important. Um, people can't get around or are stuck at home or whatever it is. Uh, a good part of the funds also supports the work of the Downtown Cultural District Committee, which itself pulls in about $15,000 of grants per year to support the work of that committee. One five or five zero? 15,000 or 50? About one five. One five. One five. Um, I can say that uh in the last two years none of that none of that economic development line was used for a grant writer okay. most grant writing is done in-house okay. by the whatever department is looking at so i guess i you don't really hire yeah, grant. yeah, yeah. i'm sorry yeah. just just to understand the category again recently um you the, the town engaged a consultant to do some work on the Wisconsin water project and and you elected to sort pay for that consultant roughly seventeen thousand dollars from the finance committee reserve. It was a combination of two sources. Right. Uh, a portion of it came from my select board town manager right. contracted services line, and the balance came from the reserve. Okay. So 
just hypothetically, could you have used this line item for the Housatonic consultant? Hypothetically, Hypothetically yeah. so I'm, I'm trying to understand how the line item could be used. That's all. Yeah. So, so is it is is this line item also then completely fungible with the spec with the finance committee reserve fund? No, I wouldn't say that. Okay. So, there, so there are certain projects that might be <laughs> applicable to the economic development line item that would not be appropriate for the finance committee reserve. Well, one that has well, unanticipated. Yeah, yeah. So I guess that's where I, I'm not following oh. that line. I mean, I know you're. Right. Yeah. Yes, there are projects that could fall under yeah. typical in a typical yeah. year. We will spend out the amount in this okay. line. Well, I, I, my question is really mostly that I, I, I hear Lee's comment. This is one of those line items where it, it's a bit, it's not as tangible as some of the others. It's hard to understand exactly what it what it represents uh, and, and exactly what is the pain associated with with cutting it out. So I have a motion and a second. Do I have an amendment or discussion? Um, I'll make an amendment, but I've already made a motion. So yeah, we can complete our vote. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. So you guys voted already. You can amend yours if you want. You I don't, don't believe we voted on this one. Because you must have because it got. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah, you did vote. Okay, you're right. Yes, yes. All right. We got it. We did it. Oh, yeah. So we have I have I here. So I just want to make a point of clarity. So right now, um, taking the $5,000 off, it, we're looking at $20,000. No, $25,000. We're still looking at $25,000 yeah. like that. So I make, um, and again, can I clarify why I'm doing this? Um, you know, we, we have the BRPC annual assessment, which is 10,000. We have the economic development for 25,000. We have the town manager, assistant town manager, who's, you know, writing the grant. So it's just one of these little things that I think we're getting so used to having it built into the budget that I think, you know, maybe this is the year to kind of really start picking things out. And then next year, if we say, I don't really think that we're going to be losing grants because of this. And although it's, you know, only $15,000, it, it adds up. And I'm just trying to be, you know, as frugal as I can and just flag something. So my um, my amendment would say to um, right now that the town manager is uh, recommending an extra 5000 Is that correct? No, actually the town manager is okay. recommending 5000 less. Okay. He's recommending 25000 Okay, and, so, and that's what we yeah. voted. So I would like to make an amendment to um, have the economic development line at fifteen thousand. Okay, do I have a second to that amendment? Second. So that's like ten thousand. Ten thousand dollars. Yeah. Um, discussion. Uh, I guess I would just say I, I would feel more comfortable leaving that in. Um, Everybody, I, I just feel anything that can go for economic development in our town. Uh, if it was used in 2023 at that number, um, I, I feel it's a, a good line item to keep in at the current funding. Yeah, I concur. Yeah. So, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Hey, it. No, it's the amendment. So, reducing it to 15. Oh, I right. So, that's two. Um, Opposed? Aye. If it fails three to two or two to three, however you want to look at it. We're back to the original motion, which is $25,000. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Aye. So it passes three to two. Building and grounds. So that buildings and grounds is a reduction on the seat of $20,000. Mm -hmm. 25 minutes, but I figured out how to read the sheet. <laughs> oh, and where, where is okay, yeah, so it's, it's a net reduction of 20000 So the total budget is going to a million, one million three thousand eight thirty eight. Once again, that amount is one million zero zero three eight three eight. Again. I move that we approve the buildings and grounds budget as amended to one million three thousand eight hundred and thirty eight dollars. Yeah, like oh, I'll second. So all in favor? Aye. Aye. Yeah. Okay. And make the same motion if I'm not finished. Second. Discussion. All in favor? 
Uh, it's unanimous. So the police department. So on the police department, there's a reduction of three thousand mm, no, dollars. No, isn't it five thousand dollars? Over. I'm sorry, five hours. It's a line down. Is it five? Yeah, yes, five. it's five. So it's a line down. Three thousand out of additional equipment. Yeah, and two thousand out of travel and training. So the final amount will be two million one hundred thirty-eight thousand two hundred sixty-one. I move that we approve the police department budget of two million one hundred thirty-eight thousand two hundred sixty-one dollars. A second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Approved. I make the same. Uh, Motion as the finance committee. Second. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. Fire department. And that's where I got mixed up. There's a one thousand dollar reduction in that. Okay, so fire department is now eight ninety-seven. Four seven seven. If I move that we approve the fire department budget of eight hundred ninety-seven thousand four hundred and seventy-seven dollars. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, same motion as the second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. Emergency is emergency services the same as emergency management. I certainly hope so. Because yes. I was wondering the same thing. Okay. <laughs> well, Five hundred dollars reduction. Okay, so that goes to twenty-four four sixty-one. I move that we approve the emergency management budget of $24,469. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Yes. Is there a motion of the finance committee? Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. Next is building inspector, which remains the same. Mm -hmm. Okay, just, just for Mark, well, may I ask Mark for for the benefit of those who are newcomers to our meeting tonight? Can you review in summary the 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 the, the work behind this? What looks like material street? Yes. When uh, our longtime building inspector Ed May retired last summer, we transitioned to a shared building department program. So we're sharing staff now with three other Berkshire towns, Lee, Lennox, and Stockage, through an intermunicipal agreement. So as a result, uh, Great Barrington is the host, and we now employ four uh, employees, and uh, staffing is provided to, to all four towns uh, as needed. So you're seeing the sharp increase again, uh, mostly because we've taken on additional employees. But uh, Great Barrington is only responsible for 32.5% of this uh, total budget. Lee is responsible for 25.5%. Uh, Lennox is responsible for 23.5%. Stockbridge is responsible for 18.5%. So we will bill all of our partner communities. We'll invoice them at the end of the fiscal year. Now, is that is that locked in at that percentage, or is it variable based on permits? The intermunicipal agreement is drafted in such a way that uh, the assessments for uh, the coming year are based on the building permits issued in that in the town the prior year. So, okay, here's a painful hypothetical: What if interest rates skyrocket and and, and our construction activity really drop to near zero, an extreme example. It would be adjusted in the next year. So how would that work if, if there were, you know, if there were no, no permits, how would you do that for the following year? Like if you had no permits. No permits? Yeah, yeah. Or, or, or an extremely small number of permits. Again, is there any, are there any sort of uh, guardrails to the adjustments of the of, of the allocation on this expense? The way that the INA is drafted right now, it's based strictly the, the cost, the percentage share is based strictly on permits issued. So I would assume that if that happened in Great Barrington, it would happen no, in fair. other neighboring communities as well. So we'd probably all see the same impact, but it would still be based on percentage of of permits issue and until we 
the breach on something else in four towns. That's the way it's drafted right now. Okay. And Mark, I just want to revisit this in terms of the relationship to free cash. So as the towns pay us, that money will go into free cash. So in the future, we'll have this money available to offset this budget line, to offset this contribution to the increase of the tax or the, the tax levy, correct? Right. So it's a one-year hit. Uh, it, it amounts to about 2% of the increase. So we will, again, invoice our partner towns near the end of the fiscal year. The revenues we collect will close to free cash next year. So it, it, will, it does come back to us, the percentages I mentioned earlier of this budget. Okay. Please go ahead. So question, Mark. Um, so with such a bump and the fact that you know, we're looking at $231,750, a 2% you know, increase that this is going to hit us, the fact that we're going to be billing the towns before the end of the fiscal year, um, could we fund this out of free cash now to bring some of the tax levy down and that'll reduce the, the burden on taxpayers this year and knowing that this is going to come back to us next year. So is there a way to use this? So we did talk about this before the meeting. Uh, we were going to propose an alternative approach, which is to use uh, 125,000, the balance in that account I mentioned earlier, the buildings account, mm -hmm. uh, sale of, of real estate account, that $125,000 rather than hitting free cash. So we can retain as much of that free cash as, as possible and keep it around that $1 million mark. Great. So can I make that? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not understanding what's happening here. So we're we're taking 125000 yeah. adding 125000 to free cash no. offset the tax levy. Yeah, no, so no. sorry, when we get to special articles, what we were planning to propose, which is going to ultimately uh, get to the same place, what we're planning to propose is if it's the Ramsdale Library, $150,000 that we added in yes. passes tonight. Okay. We were going to we were going to suggest that we use $125,000 of that uh, real estate fund instead of instead of using free cash so we can keep that $125,000 free cash. Does that make sense? No, we're getting no, a little ahead no, of so I, I, so I, 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 I think our, I think staff's point for you no, go ahead. is that staff is very reluctant to allocate additional free cash at this point to any line. Even though we know this, we're going to get this back. Even though we know we're going to get it back in the year right. because Staff recommends a free cash cushion of two million dollars. But it's only temporary. So if we're gonna bill out the, the towns at the you know, the end of so year. that's what staff recommends that we don't hit free cash. Hit Unless, free cash any more than we're already okay. hitting free cash. It, well, even if that's the way the, the boards want to go, and if the boards want to keep Ramsdale in, we can take the we can zero out the sale of real estate. Uh, funds funds and try to help offset and say over real estate, but there's mm -hmm. nothing to help offset mm -hmm. what we is getting at now. So, can you explain the one million dollar cushion? I and mean, is this going to affect the, the rate? I mean, what's you know, we're talking about $125,000 until the end of June that we're going to be, you know, building these towns. It'll help at least taxpayers with two percent. So, I think that that'll really help the tax burden. You, you know what I'm saying. Is I that, understand what you're saying. The other account that you're suggesting well, no, to take it different... out of is also a separate account from the levy account, from the general account. Sure. Well, what, what they're recommending, you could do both. But I don't think anybody, anybody looking at me, you could do no, both. No, but this particular but, but account that yeah, That particular account is restricted to use so, on real estate. So you obviously couldn't do pay for salaries out of yeah, it. This is so they're good. saying to negate this 175 Use 116, 125. 125 out of that account down the road when someday we'll get to special articles. But I'm talking about the just Yeah, they're, they're talking about the same. The cushion, the cushion. Cushion. Yeah, yeah, right. So, so I'm just saying, since we know the free cash cushion, really, we're going to be billing out the towns at the end of June. So that'll, you know, um, relieve taxpayers at 2% this year, this fiscal year, we're going to get the this free cash back in June when we build them out. Yeah. So wouldn't that be a, you know, I, 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 I hear what you're saying. And I hear uh, just 
it sounds like staff is saying they view we need that. that they view the million dollars at the cushion even though for we're the, getting for, for the current for this fiscal year Correct. so they're looking to, they're not looking to go we, below we that. recommend if you if you want yeah, to yeah. pursue that yeah. okay. funding funding this out free cash that yeah. and you also look at other things that you're using free cash for and back it out mm -hmm. to, so you're to saying keep, if i'm gonna to keep yeah, yeah. Balance. What's our what's our policy? Finance committee select board policy say about free cash. I don't remember. Does anybody remember? I don't think there's a dollar. Is it just like a, a, a no, no, there's no, there, no, there's there's no dollar amount. I mean, I did yeah. some research on this. I mean, it looks like last the last fiscal year we left about a million in free cash. The year before we left about seven hundred and forty thousand in free cash. Prior years it was much less. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, but I, I guess, Ali, I know at the last meeting you had sort of, and again, I, this is my recollection, that reducing free cash can raise some flags about how, how physically solid so, the town is. So basically there are two philosophies with as far as free cash. The two drivers of free cash, the main drivers, are turn backs from departmental appropriations okay. and at the end of the fiscal year. Mm -hmm. Funds that were not used that, maybe there were a vacancy, maybe, um, a piece of equipment came in at higher than we thought it would. We didn't contract as many Correct. services as we Exactly. Expected. And we try to be on the department level very diligent about only using what we possibly have to so that we can turn back money for that reason to generate free cash. The other half of it is the difference between the estimated receipts and the actual receipts received mm -hmm. and the local receipts. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing now is we're kind of we you you've been operating on pretty much the same philosophy that the majority of cities and towns in Massachusetts operate on, and that's to put a little bit of excess in the tax levy to build free cash and then use the free cash to go back and buy back or reduce your tax rate levy. Mm -hmm. So that's the general philosophy. Mm -hmm. Now you're at a point where you are reducing the operational budget so much that there's really not going to be much turn back. So that's so that that's cash half of your free cash. cash won't come in as revenue. Correct. Mm -hmm. And now we also raised our local receipt estimates to more closely mm -hmm. reflect yeah. what we are collecting. But so by doing so, that's going to reduce your free cash next year. Mm -hmm. So there won't be you can't have kind of both philosophies at the same time. Mm -hmm. You can't offset your tax rate with free cash if you don't generate. But so, but once we build the towns, isn't that money going to go into free cash? You know, yes. will yes, that money yes, be returned money, into free cash? This so money, well, it's not I, that we're taking it from it. We're, right, we're but just what I'm a, hearing Ali say is that even, we should brace ourselves for less um, building back up the free cash that we have depleted to offset the current year's tax levy. Right. Is this going to um, affect the bond rating to? It could potentially, and that's my other insight. Yeah. Very, very good. Very well, well, I mean, we're we have to we're, we need to rely on your guidance on this. I mean, if you if if, you, if it's the case where we've told the rating agency that we won't go below a million in our free cash, then that's a very definitive yeah. statement. And and you're saying that that, that definitive case. statement hasn't been made. That's just a best practice, basically. I mean, there are clear. I mean, we discussed this a bit in some prior budget policy discussions. I don't remember the actual numbers, but there's very, we have pretty clear recommendations that were put into the uh, the memorandum that the, the state agency made that wrote to the, to the town about our financial practices. It's about a four or five year old. The only reason I'm flagging this yeah. is because this is an exception to the rule. I mean, this is something that's a no. It's a unique circumstance. So, I completely. You know, agree. I'm saying that if we're going to get the money back in free cash, why well, don't we? The other problem, the problem I'm having here. Yeah. Is the one million dollar bar? We don't set one million. That's what we have to have. It's usually a percentage. Yeah. 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 yeah no, the budget is yeah. one million. It's right. just an arbitrary yeah. made up yeah. number. So, no, I, I completely said, agree. I mean, the, the, the policy, all the policy guidelines that you could find if you Google this topic, you know, they're all about percentages of the total budget. So as opposed to a million. I mean, my, my thing is, you know, the bottom line, the taxpayer. So if, if we can do anything yeah. to to get that rate I mean, down the, a little the, bit, knowing that we're going to get this money back from the town, it's yeah. not like. We're using it. We we guarantee that this is locked into a contract that's mm -hmm. going to be coming back to free cash anyways. So, the, so why don't we use that to, to bring down the tax levy? The the real estate reserve that you're using as an alternative that that is proceeds from the sale of real estate that you were reserving for. Yeah, that's purpose. something we we were going to bring up later. I'm only bringing it up now because I I, I know where 
where we're going with this. Is right. to, is, is no, I, I, I hear you, but that. Um, you're uh, saying so we're getting this money back. It's you know it's part of a contract. We're looking yeah, we're, 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 so we know it's coming I back. I guess the, it's not they're proposing the real. If I'm putting words in their mouth, they're proposing the real using the real estate reserve. That that's is more, another yeah. pile of money. Yep. That, that is. So that's even that is that's even greater for. savings to taxpayers if we do both of them. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I, I I hear you. I hear you, Leah. I just have a hard time Resolving describing it as uh, free cash. Yeah, yeah exactly. I, I guess here's just what I, right now you would have one million sixty one thousand eight hundred ninety one sixty seven left over in free cash. If you add, and how much are you suggesting? Two hundred twenty one. Well, that's actually about one. Yeah, I would say like one seventy five. Like if, if you okay. want a buffer, so you want to okay. make so sure. Let's say one seventy five. Hundred and seventy five thousand that leaves eight hundred and eighty six thousand six hundred and ninety one sixty seven, which is well below one million until we get the money. Right, back, but we, get, we will we not see until next June because yeah. it will sit in an account and then so it's eight hundred accounts until we close the fiscal year. Yeah. 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 This coming June? So it'll be one year out. So it'll be one will. year out. So in the yeah. event of uh, some sort of an emergency that you would need free cash monies and you have to go to special meeting and vote it out. That's all you'll be able to pull out. So, first of all, two things. July 1st is the fiscal year. Could we start a, a, a reserve fund for this money and put in a reserve fund so that each year it comes out of that instead of free cash? And second of all, um, I've heard the term emergency a few times. I've been involved in a few. It's always boring when we do have emergencies. If a roof blows off or something, insurance pays for it. If it's some major catastrophe on a building that's not insurance related, we always borrow. We, you know, I, I I see using free cash, but not using free cash. I understand and I respect your opinion. But every time someone says an emergency, we have borrowing capacity. Okay, I was I I guess I was misunderstanding because it sounded kind of like we were trying to get away from borrowing as much as we are. So mm -hmm. that's well, why yes, yes, yeah, I I, I, let well, me make, obviously, but in case of an emergency, yeah, let's not go there. Okay. Because in case of an emergency, all Gen the bets are off the window. We meet and we talk. Yeah. Yeah. I. I Do you see guys where I'm I see where you're headed. I get the the one the one thing I'd say I'm not. I would rather not refer to this as really saving the taxpayer money because we're just. But I'm saying you know we're we're you know we're we're essentially what we're doing here is we're loaning the other town yeah. the money for a year, and we're we're exactly. we're, and so we're, and we're gonna get that money back. Exactly, and we're trying to figure out which pocket of funds we're going to use. So I don't, I don't think that we uh, putting on my taxpayer hat. I, I hear you loud and clear what you're saying there, but if we, if we, whatever pile of money we use, you know, it's all taxpayer money. I don't think we're, I, I you know, I'm just not comfortable with frick, saying that we're saving the taxpayer money by using well, they'll, free cash. Well, affect the tax rate. Well, yeah, well, but then we'll have, we'll have the, we'll, 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 we'll have the same. Consideration next year. Well, same thing. All our decisions are going to well. Happen. It'll it'll affect the tax rate this year, but then next year, actually, where we'll see a slight decrease in the tax rate, that won't be there. So it's whether or not it's this year or next year. I, I agree, Ann, but if this year was three percent increase, I'd say yeah. Well, we're looking at eight percent I mean, you know, increase. So I'm no. trying to get some of the burden down if we can. I, we I are, do worry about you know. Again, looking like we don't have the reserves and we are nearly depleting our free cash when we go to, again, then we get higher interest rates. And then even if we borrow less, we'll be paying more. So let's see where yes. we are. I know. Yeah. I mean, I just, yeah, my, my concern is, is what town staff has just said as far as like, you know, a lot of the projections have always been very conservative, which is obviously boosting our cash, which takes it down. And, and so now we're streamlining those. Everything's more in line. Um, I, you know, I feel we'll be which whichever way we do this, uh, it, it's going to affect us next year also. So next year we're not going to have the free cash to put the tax burden down. So we'll be here again fighting to get a twelve percent tax increase down uh, to eight again. So I. It, it 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 is a shell game. I understand it. I, I guess I'm leaning towards going towards the town staff recommendation, um, just because I I personally would rather have that money now, knowing it's already coming back. So I, I do completely understand what you're saying, Lee. As far as that two percent, it's loud and clear on my book here. Um, 
but I just feel it's the first year for it. I think we just budget it and, and then and then next year uh it, it, it's just all gonna be there for us. So see if we can have a motion from the finance committee. One last question, Mark. Uh I I made a comment earlier. Have you been able to think any further about trying to see if we could charge some rate of interest to the other towns and and and, and what we're no, but I, I will say just remember that we, we have two intermunicipal agreements. Yeah. Lee is the host of one, Great Barrington is the host of, of one. If, if we charge 2.5 percent, they're going to charge us 2.5. What on the administrative? Yeah, but that's a smaller number, isn't it? It is a smaller number, but. It's not something that we we discussed. I'm assuming the Lennox and Stockbridge have not budgeted for that. That wasn't part of the. Am I remembering a little bit of a discussion in our last meeting that you were suggesting that part of this money could be requested from the other towns halfway through the fiscal year, or do we have to wait until the end of the? Fiscal no, year? we can. I believe the agreement says that we can actually build them quarterly. Wouldn't that be a better way for us to recoup this money quicker? But it would still not be available until it's certified. Right. It has yeah. to go to a local receipt. Yeah. So, yeah. so, 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 so it can't, can't and then be appropriate. And then be appropriate. Right. So you can't do a revolving fund with it. Not can I? Where I have to get further okay. advice from DOR on that one. Can I answer? Go ahead. No, no I, I think go I. Ahead. I so finance is really part of my thing, but I'm wondering, and you're talking about the 800 and something thousand we'll have left. Have we had any occurrences that we needed a million dollars for? I we we haven't, but I, just to reiterate, since we're budgeting closer on expenses and revenue already, and we see trends at the state level for state receipts coming down. There, there's concern that we wouldn't want to deplete our reserves. And there was, I was just saying, and, and that affects bond ratings and everything else. Is it when they see all the receipts, we're not sure that well, it will. That's not guaranteed. We're not sure. No, it's not guaranteed. Good. Tomorrow isn't. Well, that's, that's my kind of thought. I mean, it's so really long really yeah. saying because we don't know what the is going to be. But this we might year, have a good year. We but this year that. we are paying down the levy by using several million of the free cash, right? Correct. Three right. something. Two point six. Point six million. But next year, this is not going to be the grace that we will have. Right. And so this. One million may be more important for us to keep so that next year we have a little fungibility and just throw it out there. And let me just the, the issue of the projected revenues that's not affecting the budget, yeah. it's going to affect the, the tax increase, year, but yeah. it's not going to affect this. Isn't the it revenues are separate? It does affect the cash, right? Yeah, um, so finance committee want to try it? Yeah, do we have a motion? I move that we approve the building inspector budget at 473901. I will second that. Any further? All in favor? Aye. 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 We'll make the same motion, Mr. Feinstein. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Aye. So pass it's ready to our vote is inconsequential. I respect the staff. I respect their opinion, and they're making good um, suggestions. I think I would love to see us use that money. And we have 12 months to figure out next year. For us. Next year is going to be a terrible year. I think I think this is a, a huge mistake. But this is where we go with it. Professional service animal control officer. I move that we well uh, we it, we might be noted that there were three removals from eight hundred fifty dollars yeah eight, right so I move that we approve the animal control officer budget of eleven thousand dollars. I'll second. Where's it's HCO. 
ACI on this sheet. Yeah, we'll see. You see where we are? Thank you. Hopefully, not the old one. Okay, so we're just removing $850. Okay. Um, a motion on the table to go from 11850 to 11000 All in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. Make the same motion to the Finance Committee. Second. Aye. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Highway Department, DPW. Aye. Give us a second on that one. Yeah, so I want to itemize this one. Uh, either that or just have someone add it. Not the only one, the other, Richard, whichever you prefer. 27, 30, 37,500 deducted. Is it, am I correct on that? 37,700. Correct. So that total is now. One million nine hundred ninety thousand two hundred thirty-four. Yeah, sure. Or yes, absolutely. One million nine hundred and ninety thousand two hundred thirty-four. Which was a reduction of thirty-seven thousand seven hundred dollars from the budget in the item in the line items of um, equipment and repairs, um, mechanical tool allowance, street and bridge maintenance repairs. On um, the police details line, you know, uh, yeah, yes, yes, and travel and training. And, uh, travel and training. We discussed this quite a lot at the last meeting. So, um, the motion stands at 1,990,334 to be approved. Second, all second, all in favor, aye, aye. Yeah. I'll make the same motion in finance. Um, I'll stack it with some discussion. Go right ahead. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. We we did a, and maybe this is the wrong. Yeah, no, I'm good. Sorry. <laughs> we had that. Yeah. I think that 2400 you're talking about was a different. Mm -hmm. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. 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 Okay. Five now. Health department. Health department, which we have uh, a reduction of $700 in the collective referral. Okay. So that goes from 147, 143 to 146, 146,443. I move that we approve the health department budget of $146,440. $443. $443. Thank you. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 So make, I make the same motion as the finance committee. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Oh, yeah, I'm oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. So legal, are we still looking at $50,000 for legal? No, that came out. That came out. Yeah. That came out okay. sure. um, from the town manager's Great. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, same motion. Then we have a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. <laughs> Community serving. Well, we have there's no budget. There's no budget, so there's nothing to vote. All right. Somebody wants vote. to add something. Well, we're good with that. Council on aging. We have a reduction on uh, the travel training line of three hundred dollars for commander. So the the final amount is two hundred forty six thousand seven hundred sixty six. I move that we approve the council on aging budget of $246,766. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. I make the same motion in finance. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All to nothing. Unanimous. Next would be Veterans Affairs. Okay, so we can do it. Yeah, now, Mark, is that this is just the line item where we had a yeah, and there were Mark took eighty four hundred dollars. So right, the eighty four hundred dollars reflects the seven hundred dollars per month. So so it's eighty. So just to be clear, so right, the eighty four hundred has never been in our budget. Right. It was requested, and it wasn't in the time and yeah. recommendation. Is there anywhere where we could? Find this money to add to this. <laughs> Go back to what we were talking about. So you and I would think 
a small amount we could take out of the free cash. Am I understanding that? Although this is not sure. my idea of using free cash on a recurring We could always make a note. I, I was actually going to make a, a motion to reinstate the $8,400, but we could keep that in mind. But $8,400 really was the four marks it, recommendation. It, yeah, it was a request. From, it um, was a request. The veterans uh, affairs. Do we... What would well, it be if we had it at 400? Or it would be putting $8,400 back into that. Oh, so if we put 8400 in, it would be $176,429. And um, I'm wondering where where because when you had discussed earlier you were saying well, let's not add money in rather than we will remove it from something else do we have any suggestions? we still have some more of the sheet to do with this well we have other other we things that are coming up so you think in those that are coming up we might find Possibly. a hole yes Okay, with this or no? Yeah, I mean, look, I, I really would like to be able to support this if we can. I'm looking at some of the capital. Um, well, let's not go to capital now. If you're thinking we're going to reduce yes. capital, we'll do that. Oh, I get that, that, but some of the capital is coming out of the tax levy as well. I, I understand, but yeah. we're on the I department see. now. Right. right, but if we're trying to keep taxes down, we might be able to find a I'm all for keeping taxes down. I'm not all for dumping all over the place. Yeah. Um, are you going to be okay with this? Well, so, I I uh, make a motion that we approve the Veterans Affairs budget of one hundred seventy six thousand four hundred and twenty nine. I second that. Which includes an increase of eighty four hundred, as originally um, recommended before town manager reductions. You made a motion. Oh, it's and it's the second one. Well, I'll just make the comment that it was important enough for the for the gentleman to come down and, and speak to us. So we'll take that at face value. So roll call vote. Aye. 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 I make the same motion as the finance committee. Second. Any discussion? This is not including that seven hundred dollars extra. This is this is eighty four hundred dollars. This is the total. Of the it's seven hundred dollars. This is exactly what they wanted. Right. Uh, so I, I make the same motion. No, we already have the second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Well, let me just explain to the people at home while we all take a one minute break that town manager cut a lot, reduced a lot in the budget to try to make the increase more palatable. And there were some that were hard to swallow, but you had to do, and that was one of them. And it's not something, it doesn't mean a town manager or town staff was in favor of it, but they had to find somewhere to go. Mm -hmm. Yep, we have some kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, libraries with a reduction of 2,300. 2,300 reduction in libraries. Okay, so the library. So the revised, so the revised library budget with the production of twenty three hundred would be six hundred fifty four thousand nine hundred fifty five. I move that we approve the library budget of six hundred fifty four thousand nine hundred fifty five dollars. Second. All in favor. Aye. I make the same motion as the finance committee. Did you all finish our vote? Yeah. Oh, yes, I heard. Sorry. I don't know. Well, I It's unanimous. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, now I make the same hey. motion as the finance committee. Um, I will. I will second it. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Parks was a reduction. <laughs> Parks. So parks and recreation they have 25 yeah, but parks and recreation. Yeah, go ahead, Mark. Uh, if, if you don't mind, I wanted to suggest that perhaps you could make up the eighty four hundred dollars here in the budget and I'll make a few suggestions. Yeah, if that's okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh Lake Mansfield lifeguards from Memorial Day to June 30th, a very, very quiet time mm -hmm. at the lake. That's uh we could reduce that budget by about six thousand mm. dollars. Right. 
Yeah, the skate park, uh, May 1st to the start of school vacation. Also very quiet time. It's about $6,500 in this budget that Super. could be reduced. Yeah. And Mark, you're, 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 up the are you adding, you're so you're just making up the 84 million? Yeah. So that, that's the goal, yeah. Just taking 12. But you already million. have 40,300 coming up. Yeah. Right? Yes. You're saying right. take another 12,500. Okay. Again, they're just they're five yeah. times a year. That, yeah. I mean, these aren't programs that are utilized. So by there's your money. Well, there. my yes. recollection is that at our, at our previous discussions, we did not agree that we would remove all of the youth programming at 30,000. Is I incorrect? It is not all of the youth programming. It's, 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 it's every it, What it basically does. It's Although it's up to the parks department, it closes as soon as we which would have very low attendance it closes it for staffing, for staff. No, it, it doesn't close the park. It doesn't close the park. He would know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It, doesn't it, close. it doesn't close the park. The park is staffing wouldn't be there. Yeah. We've had a very tough time as a parks department. Okay, getting so people this would be free. But it's not yeah. closing yeah. the park. No, no, no. Okay. no. Okay. Okay. I just want to make sure. Yeah. Okay. Actually, that it's not so just my understanding. And just to be clear, there's not another park in Great Barrington, Great Barrington is a topic, where we do this. So it's not like in Great Barrington where we have one park yeah, no, we're just staffing and when we don't we do staff the skate right. park but that's a different animal mm -hmm. okay so the total cut is the forty thousand three hundred plus the eighty four hundred is that correct no so no, forty thousand three hundred i heard plus twelve thousand so i have a total reduction of fifty two thousand eight hundred is that correct well he's an extra twelve thousand five hundred so i have, I have 30. Subtracting both forty thousand three hundred and subtracting twelve thousand five hundred, and combined subtraction of fifty two thousand eight hundred. Is that correct, Mark? Um, or Chris? It would be thirty thousand ten thousand three hundred and then twelve thousand five hundred. Okay, so you that. you so you didn't just offset the eighty four hundred increase and we just approved. I you think. added additional. I would say just take the 12 five out okay. total. All right. There's no point in funding the eight four small okay, so the, the, okay, so the aggregate reduction is fifty two thousand eight hundred. Yep, for a Correct. total amount of eighty three thousand eight hundred and twenty five. Twenty five. Mm -hmm. Okay. Eighty three so eight twenty five. I move that we approve the parks and recreations budgets of eighty three thousand eight hundred and twenty five dollars. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I make the same motion to the finance committee. Second. Any discussion? Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Boards and commissions. So if I'm reading this right, there's a $2,000 recommended reduction. Uh, I would agree. What? I see oh, yeah. 2001 in transportation committee. Mm -hmm. and so that goes from 23000 to 21000 So we have a motion. I move that we approve the boards and commissions budget of $21,000. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Unanimous. I make this same motion as the finance committee. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Next, celebrations and events. No change and no change. So that's twelve thousand five hundred. each. I move that we approve the budget of celebrations and events. So twelve thousand five hundred dollars. One second. All in favor? Aye. Unanimous. Do you have a motion? Oh, I make the same motion as finance committee. Second. I think we're at this question. Do we ever use this amount of money? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Just while we're talking, when we say no change, this year's town meeting voted for FY24. Last year's town meeting was sixteen thousand five hundred. The recommendation this year is twelve thousand five hundred, which is what we're voting on. Right. So mm -hmm. when we say no change, there's no change from the town manager recommendation. Just so anyone, right. because we haven't confused them by now. Yeah. Sorry, I think it's going to do have a motion. I just make a motion, but uh, I make the same motion as finance committee. Second. Okay. All in favor? Okay. Yeah, I assume, <laughs> I assume that even though you're a little behind me. <laughs> okay, um, next is debt service to a finance committee. So I'm assuming there's no changes here because we can't, right? What? So we get, there's no deduction. Correct. Okay. No changes to, yeah, to what? Yeah, right? the, the, so the 
make oh, a motion okay. to approve the um the debt service budget line of three million three hundred seventy eight thousand and thirty four dollars. Second. Yeah. Um get the so the comment. audience is going to talk on the hallway and close the door, please. Yeah. I get grouchy after a couple hours. Yeah. <laughs> and we're not even there. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, so, we are. We're well so, there. We know. So on, on the debt service topic, I asked town staff to put out this uh, one pager that, that we put together, uh, just summarizing some historical information. Um, and just, yeah, I, I guess the message I want to convey is, is that this is now 20% of our budget debt service. So it's, um, you know, this is this is a big number and, it, and it's it's going to get bigger, unfortunately, because we're borrowing and because of interest rates. Um, I did a lot of tinkering to try to make a crude estimate of what debt service might be next year. Um, you know, it was very crude. Um, you know, our debt service number is 3,378,000. I'd say a decent rule of thumb uh, is that it's going to begin with a four next year. Um, so I, I'm, I'm saying that not to press people, but just to, just to convey that um, we've spent a lot of time on this topic, I think justifiably so. Um, it's a very serious matter. It's a very, very significant part of our budget. Uh, the other point I'd make, which will come up later, is and I tried to make this clear. It's a little bit like Battleship. If you look at row 21, that is the uh, that is debt authorized but unimpeded. And you'll see that from fiscal 22 to fiscal 23, that number went down from 16,721 to 10,714. Um, and for, Staff might have a more recent version of that now, but, I, but Mark, I think, provided that number. So, so when you look at your sheet, or I'm looking. I'm sorry, I'm looking at this sheet that I put together oh, and I asked town staff to hand out. He was handed out. Yeah, it should be in your file. Oh, sorry. Um, sorry. Um, sorry. Sorry. No, sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. So I'm looking at, and it, and to be clear, I put this together based on prior budget binders and town warrant information. But I put that together, so if there's a mistake in here, it's my my fault, not town staff. We will point it out if we find it. <laughs> uh, so row twenty, row twenty one, is uh, debt pre authorized but unissued. Uh, and for fiscal twenty two, that number was sixteen million seven twenty one, and for yeah. fiscal twenty three, they went down to ten million seven hundred and fourteen. So what that represents is that town staff, in that period of time, did a terrific job of actually undertaking and executing and uh, prior projects previously authorized getting stuff done probably in sort of post covid mode and we appreciate all that but what that resulted in is significant borrowings that was is a big part of the of the big jump we've had in debt service so that debt service jump is is has two pieces to it, it it's the it's the projects we previously authorized two, three, four, five years ago that are just getting done now. now. And then there's also the projects that we're approving in any current year. Um, so that is, so all adding that up together, our debt went up from 9,740,000 last year to the 18 million we now have. So what I would propose going forward is, is, to, is to ask town staff to think about the right ways to um, communicate to a greater extent with the appropriate committees on, a, on an interim basis about your plans to actually undertake borrowings that have already been authorized, because that's what really sort of adds, you know, add dollars to the to the to the, uh, to the debt service bill. Mm -hmm. um, so, so that was, that's the reason for that page. Do you have a finance committee motion? I move that we, well, I thought we already moved and approved. Well, I'll move again the debt service uh, budget of three million three hundred seventy-eight thousand zero thirty-four dollars. I'll second. All in favor? All right. Any opposed? Yeah. Okay. Yes. I make the same motion as the finance committee. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Retirement. Page 29, tab 6. 
focuses retirement. Retirement. Do we have a motion? I'll make a motion that we approve the retirement budget of one million two hundred thirty thousand two hundred and eighty-one. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I make the same motion as the finance committee. Second. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. For insurance. Yeah, insurance. Yes. Yeah. 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 I'll make a motion that we approve the insurance budget of one million seven hundred and ninety seven thousand five hundred and six. Second. Um, it's it's uh and it's 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 good news, but quite startling how this is one of the light items that has been very stable. Obviously, there's a few reasons for that, but you know. Uh, anyway, it's good news, bad news. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Make the same motion as the finance committee. Second. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Wastewater treatment. And I'm giving a second here. Is are we looking at three million one hundred fifty-three thousand two hundred and ninety-five? I'll Correct. make a motion that we approve that the wastewater budget of three million one hundred fifty-three thousand two hundred and ninety-five. Second. No in favor? Aye. Aye. I make the same. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> make the same the motion of the finance committee. Richard, we found you personal. Second. I need to start personal. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Then you're right. Hmm? I didn't know. Oh, yeah. Okay, sorry. Mm -hmm. I could have been that many. It's okay. Um, that concludes the operating budget. So those who are about to clap, that's 25% of what we have to do tonight. <laughs> um, so you might want to hold the applause. Um, in the in the packet that was on your table is the cap is the revised capital budget seat. So give everyone a chance to find that. Any part that's without capital in the previous section. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Can I make a request? Can I ask what happened to the candy bowl? I have a second. I have it in my gut. Cut the last one. Yeah. I think it'd be an important. It was depending how we voted before it was going to hand it out. <laughs> okay. So in, I finally found mine. There's one that says updated 2 2024. That's in that. And well, thank you. But I'll do a good job on my teeth. Mine says 220. Mine says 220. No, Okay. So, some of this we've talked about in great detail. And I'm not asking us not to speak about it, but let's not be repetitive because we probably have an hour and a half, two hours worth of work to go, maybe, maybe less. But we talked about all of this. So, what we'll do is we'll go in order of department police, fire, DPW, parks, transit, and then wastewater. And um, this is the most up to date sheet. So, for instance, the this will be used this from the police. There's a reduction in one cruiser uh, it's recommended by Sergeant Colado and then one corresponding radio. Um, so let's see if any other committee wants to make a motion on that. I move that we approve the capital request for the police department of $104,675. I'll second. 104, say that again. 104, 675. Here's the Okay. Okay, I'm behind you then. Okay, 104, 675. Okay. All, yes. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. I make the same motion as finance committee. I'll second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Next is fire, which is um, 167,000, which appears not to have changed. It has not changed. So um, we're we're voting on the total of the budget, whether it comes, no matter where it comes from. Is right. that correct? Yeah. You, you can, if you would like, you can say 60,000 from borrowing and $100,000 from free cash. 
I move that we approve the uh, fire department's capital budget of 67,000 borrowed and 100,000 premises dash. I'll second, and then I would like to, again, I'm still struggling here. I mean, again, I'm all for making reserve funds, but we are not funding any of our other reserve funds. And I just, and we're trying to maintain free cash. And I just, I'm struggling with what's, by the way, I'm not saying that we shouldn't get a fire truck, but um, I just don't understand why we have this one reserve fund is the only reserve fund that we're funding. I, I still struggle with that. Um, and again, we're really, you know, this is a place where we could take another 100000 to offset the tax levy. And I know we should do this, but <laughs> I just, we've got the special article reserve funds that were at zero. That's, those were my, my thoughts on the last meeting when we said this, and, and it's it's not targeted at, like, I know we're going to need engine two, and I think it was 28 or something, right? Um, I'm not doubting that, and I would be supporting that when it comes time. I just, I wasn't sure, uh, as, as Ann said, um, why this would be the one reserve that we're contributing to this year. So, uh, and I'm up for the reasoning behind it. Um, I understand we're thinking it's going to take some ease off the 800 to $1 million price tag on that. Um, and, and I get it, but it's it's not like you've been reserving this for the last eight years either. So I might say, I think that it, this fund might be special because it's an obvious expense that we know. And you ever reserve funds are for possible spending that we don't have earmarked for a particular item. But that's the way I'm justifying this particular research. Having said that, and I agree with you, but in a good year, but this doesn't count, that would be very prudent. This year, when we're struggling and we're cutting, we've been here for hours cutting hundreds of dollars out of different lines just to try to get it lower, it does make sense to me to reduce that out. Uh, out of here, but you know, that's how everyone votes. So, you have a motion in a second, I believe. Do so you can make an amendment, or well, I can make a motion and then we can discuss it. Well, I think you did make a motion. <laughs> did I make a motion? Yeah, and okay, but please repeat it because the candy came. And I, well, my, it, my apologies it, for having my mouth full of chocolate. <laughs> um, I made, I made a motion to. Approve 167,000 as a capital request for the fire department, which um, broke down into 67,000 borrowing and 100,000 in free cash going to a reserve fund for an engine. Rich, I, I really appreciate your rationale for this um, because it is a specific thing, but we do have a capital budget plan and a capital plan that lists other specific things. And again, I just feel I'd love to see that 100,000 go to offset the tax levy this year as much. And again, you know, I'd love that we would put money into the other reserve funds, but it's a tough year. So you made a motion. Do we have a second? Uh, I've seconded for discussion. Okay. I've discussed. Roll call. I would say a uh, no. I'm a no. So do we have another motion? I move that we fund a capital request for the fire department of sixty-seven thousand dollars. I will second that. No. I I share Anne's view on this. Um, it just when we need the truck, we'll have to pay for the truck. Is the way I look at it. So are we taking a vote? Yes. Aye. 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 I make the same motion as, um, well, I guess the same motion as this. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. So that motion is $67,000. I'll second that motion. Discussion? Can, can I just be reminded of what the total cost of the truck will be when that bill comes to? About uh, a million. That's what the chief was asking. I think I have. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Hey, DPW, before we start this one, this may not be a sort of thing. Chris, what is the status of the grant 
of the property formerly known as the Alden property. But mm -hmm. I get a, get a tattoo and remember the new name. And how would that relate to this? Well, what, what would happen is under street bridges and culver, I believe that's where it is, correct? There's a contingency for 750. Is that where it is? It's in streets, correct. Yeah, okay. Have we heard anything about that? You said that we might hear about whether we were awarded that. We have a, we have a grant from MathWorks in hand. Okay. Of $3.3 million. The bids have not come That's, in. Yet. Sorry, I misspoke. So Thank you. We're, we're not, hopefully they'll come in less than 3.2. Right. <laughs> we don't know. So, so I'm going to advocate to remove that 750. Um, I'm willing to take that chance, but it's finance committee's turn first. Can I ask very briefly what would happen if you took that money out and the grant and the bids came in at the higher level? Uh, if bids came in too high, we'd have to rethink the project and work with the engineer to try to reduce the extent of the construction, if possible, or find some other way to pay it. Um, I will say that based on a very low assessed value of the homes to be built there, of in the mid to low 200s, the tax revenue per year of those 20 homes would pay the debt service for $750,000, even at a conservative debt loan rate. So it, it would, in that sense, pay for itself if you look at it that way. If we didn't do, we didn't do the 750 and we find another Hopefully source, we'll right, but if we find another source and we don't need it, we would actually have more money because that money would still be coming in. And I don't think I'm not in favor of scrapping the project. Right. Yeah, I'm not in favor of scrapping the project. I just want long, hard consideration before we say, yeah, 750 is a good idea. You don't want to sit on it. Yeah, I, I don't want to sit on it. And I don't want it to have to be borrowed without really making sure that we need it. 750. Are we specifically talking about this one line? Or no, we can talk about anything. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, where are we down at? Um, I, I would start it out because I, I, confusingly, I asked Chris about the grant. What I should have asked him about was the bids, whether they had been open. And yet. are we down at? We're uh, anywhere in Bridges that you would like to be. We're, we're down at Bridges and Colbert. We were at Street Bridges. That's 750 very good. Which is worth a 750,000 right. possible additional funding would be. Is it 700 750? 750, thank you. So the discussion is a full that. I see. Yeah. Okay. Can I can I just ask uh, Joe a question on just on the ground when we were talking about the um just reviewing all our buildings and, and setting up that was that that under the architect engineer service line in here? <laughs> Just to do the assessment. Um, the, assessment. Yeah. The, the future assessment on like three more buildings. Yeah. yeah. That's been under the buildings and grounds architecture. So and that's in there. Yeah. Okay. Oh. We, we end up not touching that. Great. Well, I'm not sure. But if I understood Chris correctly, that money would be coming back anyway, the 750 that we're borrowing. If we didn't. If we act, if, if it's approved here and, and 750 is also. Part of the capital approved the town meeting, and if we had to use it, the tax revenue of those homes would essentially cover them. Steve's argument was, well, if we don't have to use it, we have the tax revenue coming in as as it should anyway. Yeah, correct. Can I, Chris? I don't know if you can ask it. If we were to not approve this and the state got wind of that, would that make it less likely that they might give us a grant? that amount we already had 3.2 million right but you said we need you think we might need another 750 maybe no, i'm missing that's not from a grant that i don't was... know that's just a contingency i hope we don't oh need i see it's a contingency it is a contingency if bids come in more than three the bids have not actually come in yet. correct exactly it's just contingency well, I so you they should come in well before town meeting and, and my point is right now we don't need the money. And if let's say the bids come in off, way off, we should really have just a discussion for hours about that and about we're going to do the project, but there are other ways to fund it instead of taxpayers. Sure. Because this project is going to have some burden to the town anyways, infrastructure, police, fire. 
do we really want to spend 750 if we need a taxpayer's money on it? And, and my answer is no. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm not against the project, but so, I'm like, yeah, I don't want to I, use this. I now. think what I hear you saying, and I think I agree with you, is that if you take the 750,000 out, if something changes before town meeting, we we'll talk, come, about, yeah, we'll talk about it at the town meeting and hopefully we won't need to. Or if it, let's say next week it comes in, the bids, I don't know when to do, we can have a, another joint meeting, we'll figure out a day. If if we don't, the worst case scenario is if we don't approve this and it's needed and we think it's a good idea, we would have to have a special town meeting if it's after the town meeting. I mean, not, not an ideal no, situation. No, I know, but. all right. I would, so we've already removed um, 3,600. So I'm proposing that we remove another 750,000. Is that correct? I want to make sure. Right. So if you look at the bottom, it's 3,926,000, and you would take 750,000 off of that. Oh my God! Um, so you were right just looking at the DPW. All I'm only DPW looking right at DPW. Right. I got yes. confused because it's for a total moment. of the sorry. DPW. So but I'm removing. The DPWs are revolving computers. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, so that's going to be. Oh my gosh, I, I, I'm sorry, my. You, you can just say that number minus seven hundred fifty. No, I think I have it. Okay, you have it. There. You have it. So yeah, lot of four million three hundred and fifty-eight thousand six hundred eighty-four. Is the total DPW? and uh, the DPW? Yes, the, the total. That's the total. Yeah. Yeah. That's the total. Yeah. What? What? Total. He's reducing the five point five million one hundred eight. Right. Um, no, eight, nine, no, 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 yes. no, no. No, that's correct. Five million one hundred eight is correct. Right. We want to move seven six. Zero. He's correct. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's three million one hundred seventy six thousand in borrowing. No, no, the, no, no, that can't be right. No, four million three hundred fifty eight. That's how my checking account gets messed up. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, what are we? We're taking the five million one hundred eight six eighty four, at least correct, and minusing seven hundred fifty thousand dollars, which is four million three hundred fifty eight thousand. Sounds about right. before you said three. I was moving on to the next. Oh, why are we all thinking about the first column? My apologies. I'm hard. I, I think he I'm was right. Staying up through now. My apologies. <laughs> on the first column, the total amount of DPW capital requests. Is four million three hundred fifty-eight thousand six hundred eighty-four, including the reduction of seven hundred fifty thousand for this reserve fund for the for the um, project we have been discussing. <laughs> Perfect. Is that correct? It sounds correct to me. Okay, so you that, had more candy than I have, but I think sorry. <laughs> yeah, the sugar is going high. I I might I might. Say to those who are listening that in our previous meetings, we removed we removed a, a significant a several million dollars already from the budget, and this is a further reduction. Right, it was nine hundred and seven seven twenty three seven eighty four, right. which is correct. Right, yeah. So and we're it's down, down to under four million three hundred and fifty eight thousand. So my. Um, my motion is uh, that we approve the capital requests for the Department of Public Works at four million three hundred fifty-eight thousand six hundred eighty-four dollars. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, same motion. Oh yeah, same motion as my nephew. Second. Any discussion? Yeah, let's discuss that a little bit. Um, so let's say the bids come in wacky, then we're going to have to have another meeting. Mm -hmm. we Look well, at this whole thing. Well, first of all, I would hope that Chris, Mark, and Joe would talk about why they came in that way and how they can reduce them. If there's some some way they can reduce them. Second of all, I would hope that they would look for other sources of funding. If all that's exhausted, then we would have to meet and talk about it. Meet and talk about yeah. Redoing, redoing the seven fifty. Are we doing the seven fifty? Yeah. All right. Okay. Let me figure with the whole crowd. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. It's unanimous. Next is Parks, which remains at 153. So I move that we uh, approve the fiscal year 25 capital request for the Parks Department of $153,000. Pull down, please. 
And, and can I? That is the last number that's on them. Oh, and that's because with the parks. Yeah, could you scroll it up? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So with the parks, some of that money, some of that is coming out of CPA, correct? Not all of that's going to the tax levy, correct? I have in my notes that 95,000 is coming out of CPA. Yes, 95,000 is coming out of CPA. And CPA is coming out of the tax levy. That's correct. Correct. So, okay. Um, I will set then second your motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. I make the same motion as the finance man. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. Wastewater. Uh, what about transit? transit. Yeah. Oh, transit. Sorry, thank you. Um, I uh, move that we approve the fiscal year 25 capital request for the transit department. Of uh, $22,000. I will second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And I'll just note that we reduced that. That was reduced from 45000 because we got this. Because we're getting it for free. That's what right. I yeah. yeah. I make the same motion as the finance committee. I'll second that. Because was there a chance that this would be reduced? Is there even more money out there potentially that would bring this down? Where am I? No, it's twenty-two thousand would be our required match, um, assuming we we're successful in getting a, another grant for a vehicle. Yeah. If we don't get that we're grant, this twenty-two will be screenshot. This twenty-two won't be needed. Continue watching. Yeah. Maybe turned off behind you at the same time, so there's a lot of. <laughs> <laughs> we're just yeah. yeah. Perfect. yeah. Thank you. A lot of excitement. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. So we have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Wastewater, I jumped the gun. I um, move that we approve the fiscal year 25 capital request for wastewater of $2,650,000. All second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I make the same motion as finance committee. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous? Appreciate it. So let's. Okay, so next we are on special articles. There's a packet in there. It says updated two in the packet. It says updated 228-24. Again, similar to Capital, which went very well. We've talked about all of these at length. Not saying we can't talk about them again, but let's not to do too much of ourselves. I will go through these through these. Line by line, I'm only going to do the ones that we've recommended. There are three 500 town manager recommendations. There's six, but one was not his recommendation. That was ours. There's an asterisk by it. So I'm only going to do those six because no one last time brought up any of the other ones to do them. So there's no sense of discussing them. So first is community impact funding um, at $1,500,000. Well, I recused myself on this topic last time around. You, know, you have no choice but to be consistent. So right. Finance I can't recuse them. Yeah. Okay. So we can't vote on this. That is not right. Not okay. with two people. Okay. We'll we'll deal with that at some point. How we're going to handle that? I'm not. We're not going to spend a half hour tonight discussing possibilities how we're going to fix that. Um, although I must say, you've already given your initial approval to that. Although there was discussion at the public hearing. So if no one said anything at the public hearing, I'd say, well, you know, no one said anything, but so I think okay. we will figure that out. Okay. Having said we won't discuss that, I just discussed it. Um <laughs> Dorcher Hills Regional School District locational tuition and no, let's let's select like where do the community impact funding one way or another. Uh, I make a motion that we approve the town manager recommended amount of one million five hundred thousand dollars for the community impact funding. I'll second. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Right. Opposed? All of it is unanimous. Okay, next is Berkshire Hills Regional School District vocational tuition and transportation. I move that we approve the special article for Berkshire Hills Regional School District vocational tuition and transportation costs of $80,000. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Yes. 
I make the same motion of the finance committee. A second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Next is the emergency medical services at $205,326. I move that we approve the emergency medical services special article of $205,326. One second. And just I'll note that they, uh, the uh, Southern Birch Ambulance said they would deliver their 2022 uh, financial audit, and they did, in fact, do that. So do we uh, all in favor? Aye. I make the same motion as the committee. I'll second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Unanimous. Next is the courthouse upgrades with up to you, but with the uh, change that the use, the funding source would be the sale of real estate account. Hmm. I uh, move that we approve the special article for courthouse upgrades of $200,000 coming from the sale of real estate fund. All second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I make the same motion, same motion as the financing. <laughs> I'll second that. Any discussion? <laughs> Hearing no discussion, all in favor? Aye. Aye. It's unanimous. And last but not least is um, I move that we approve the uh, special article for Ramsdale Library Architectural and Design uh, coming out of free cash for one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. One second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, did, did you guys? That before you, you want to make a proposal? Then? Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I, before you vote, we just want to, we want to change that funding source uh, from free cash. I'm sorry. Yeah, 125 and 150 uh, from free cash using the sale of real estate. 125 from sale of real estate and balance from. Oh, so it would be a 25,000 from free cash okay. and 100. So can we uh, abort the uh, previous motion and yes. make a new motion? I don't know what the proper term would be, but I like a board. Withdraw. withdraw. Anything but a board. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I move that we um, that we approve the special article for the Ramsell Library Architectural and Design of one hundred and fifty thousand dollars, one hundred and twenty-five thousand of which will be coming from the sale of real estate fund, and twenty-five thousand will be coming from free cash. Well stated, and then I second. Mm. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. I make the same motion as when I'll second that. Any discussion? I will say this I voted against it the last time I voted, which seemed like months ago. And my concern still is that the pre it's predicated on being able to raise two to three million dollars through whatever way donations. Otherwise, the town's going to be on the hook for it. And I'm not convinced that there's a solid plan to do that. I'm all for updating and doing the Ramso Library. I'm just, as a board, we're talking about not increasing debt. And we're talking about a new school project. We're talking about other things. I, so I would rather not do this. It's, may I say something? I, I, I think that that our intention is to, to state publicly that we are for trying to do something for the Ramso Library. And this money is being put in a in a escrow fund just in case the state gives a, a grant to fund Ramsar Library, in which case we will have to have these questions more fully answered how whether we accept it or not. But without this hundred and fifty thousand, they can't even apply for the right. So and it's I, not actually I, I can support this because of your reasons. Right. I'm just concerned. That there is no laid out plan to raise two or three million dollars. And as much as everyone has good intentions, well, I, 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 I am, I hear you. Yeah. And I agree with you. Yeah. Eric Garfield, I, I, I understand your concerns, Steve, but I also, with, with the immediate needs that Joe stated after the last examination and the 10 year outlook, where, and I could have the numbers wrong, but we were looking at close to like 1.8, I thought the building needed, right? So, uh, the ramp sale is very important to the town. We, we're looking to to stay on top of our all the buildings. So it's not a matter of 
are we going to spend $2 million on it? it? It's when, and then, and then this is like 3 million already offset and by the state, if they even get approved for this and then, you know, and then hopefully with the motivation they've been showing that they do back up their fundraising, like they've said. So I think one way or the other, the, 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 the time's coming for the town to put the money towards the, the building there. Um, it's just a matter of how, uh, at the end of the day. So it seems prudent to me that we, we give this a chance. I kind of echo the same thing here. Sandy did say before it's an iconic building. It's an educational tool. It's tough to cut money from education. It's um, important to the town. And I think you should do that. Great. So I actually, I sat on the CPC and we um, kicked it down to the select board and to the finance committee. So in my belief to get the due diligence that we are giving it right now. And um, like Steve, you know, I had concerns, but we are putting them to the test and we're saying, okay, we believe in you. And I feel that we have enough outs that if things don't go our way, the town can get out of this requirement. But let's put the belief in these people that want to carry this on, which I am in favor of and believe that the Satonic should have their own library. Um, and I feel that you know, let's let's get behind them and, and fair play to them and try to get the fun, fundraising in place and uh, we'll see what happens. So I just may add, I do agree with that and I have to put the trust in, in the people that are going to raise the money. I, they they have them, they want, they have the want, they have the desire. I think they're not going to um, do it half half, they're going to do it. I, I think the right. ratio of the trust for me, the big thing is. This building, this project means so much to so many people in this town that I don't want to stop this at our level. I want to give this to the town to vote. Mm -hmm. I want this to be, you know, mm -hmm. and I, I like I, I share your concerns. Like if there's a lot of unanswered questions in this, but I think this is still it should go to the town. Mm -hmm. So we have a motion and we have a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. It's unanimous. And we're Next. not worried about the battery. So. <laughs> okay. TV. Oh, right. just the yeah, just, just one last comment on this. I, I did change my vote on this. It's um, so I was, I was against it last time. Uh, it's didn't, uh, I, I appreciate the town staff coming up with this alternative source of these funds. It, it represents a uh, an inexpensive option on on securing some very meaningful money from the state. But but if I'm yeah, fortunate enough or crazy to be on the finance committee three or four years from now, and they come back ask saying we could we need another million dollars for this. I'm certainly not going to react very favorably. Um, so, I mean, I supported this year, and I, I I just had to say, you know, make sure everyone heard that it's yeah. a lot of money. Yeah, and, and it's a project that we need to do. It's just when and and how. Yeah. Um, opioid settlement funds received in FY two o twenty twenty three is done. Finance committee. Is this something that we take a vote on? Yes. Actually, your vote um, would be the verbiage that's right there. Okay. I move that we uh, approve the special article for opioid settlement funds received in fiscal year 2023 in the amount of. $10,556 in her I'll second. All in favor? Aye. I guess. I second. I repeat the same motion as the finance committee. I'll second that. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, we're doing really well. Then. What is that fourth section we're going to work on? Well, uh, it's the easy one. Yeah. Convert to the rest. Yeah. Um, yeah, convert to the rest. So let me give a little update. This is on the discussion vote on the First Year Old Regional School District ah. assessment. Um, the concern here, no, it's not a concern. Whatever we do tonight is predicated on what happens tomorrow night. We're a little back. Tomorrow night's the public hearing and possible vote by the school committee. That vote would be if there's a lot of discussion tomorrow night. And yes, I'm doing this again tomorrow night. Um, that vote is could be the following Thursday. There's a tentative meeting set, so we may vote tomorrow night. We may not. If there is a change, if there's a change, not a change to the bottom line, we're fine. 
if there's a change to the bottom line, we probably would have to revoke this and we'd probably have to look at some other things. So what we're saying is that we recommend the bottom line that at this point is in the budget, but has not been approved by the school committee yet, which is typical. This is not unusual. Usually um, school committee and the town are neck and neck in doing this. Uh, we may be, the school committee may be a week later than normal, but it's it's not off that much. Mark, do you have the bottom line? No, we're looking yeah, at the exactly. page. It's in the yeah, it hasn't been updated, right? You didn't hand out a new sheet tonight? No. Yeah, there's a new sheet. Yeah. Yes, um, well, there's a sheet that says. Um, is it the fiscal budget? Update 2624. Is that the sheet we're looking at? No, the sheet we're looking at this one. We're we're looking looking at that one? one? Updated time and the recommendation. Is that as the updated? Oh, that one. Okay. Budget is also in text. Okay. So, so is it both say, uh, let's make sure they go from 21 million to 40,000. At the end of tax. Okay. At the end of tax. Yeah, we have yeah. it. So it's also here. So here. It's 21 million, 40,872. Oh, school budget assessment. And yeah. what column? We're looking in the orange column on the new sheet. Yeah. Twenty-one million forty thousand eight hundred seventy-two. Correct. Yeah. I'll make the motion that we approve the school budget assessment for fiscal year twenty-five of twenty-one million forty thousand eight hundred seventy-two. Second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. I repeat the same motion as the finance committee. Second. Any discussion? Just quick question. For yeah. Um, yeah. What roughly is our percent the percentage of the school budget that is out of our total budget? Just keep no, it's yeah. Well while they look this increase, well they look up until time. It's on, under four percent this year, which is unusual. Right. No, I know that's not your question, no. but yeah. I'm filling down in gotcha. Instead of me singing, I thought I'd just throw that out. <laughs> yeah, the school budget is like 49. Yeah. Right. It's 29. It's a little under. Yeah. I think the total is 46, 8, and it's 21. Yeah, but of our budget, I mean, our, our budget's 16, right? As ever. The I operating think. budget is somewhere in Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. operating yeah. 16. So. Give it a take. We did a little bit so of it. So it's definitely in that. 65 percent of our budget right? and just our town budget right and just to call out the calculation of the assessment we pay 74 percent of the, the district budget not yes. the capital but 74 percent of the operating right budget. that's the change yeah so, so um, it's not draft, an easy pill no the first draft of a lot of budget the school assessment is 53 percent that has since changed but that's where we were yeah. um, <laughs> Did you guys write it? We voted. Oh, we already voted. Wait for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah sorry. We're, 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 we're in the We're discussing yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. I just wanted So to. we have a motion and we have a second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. It's unanimous. Still can my agenda back just because I don't really? know how it's supposed to. Oh, gosh. If you don't have it, fine. Someone's got to have one. No, I just. I assume. Actually, while you're re looking at the agenda, can I just ask a question? It's very. Yeah. Okay, Ali, can I ask you just a question about um, it's on the budget projections page? I'm just trying to understand something as I was doing my review this weekend. Mm -hmm. um, so we have under revenue, free cash, reduced tax levy. Got that. Sorry, I'll give you a minute. I'm sorry. Yeah. Which one was she looking at? I'm looking at the fiscal 2025 budget projections. So under revenue. Yeah, I didn't In one of the handouts about today. Oh, or? yeah, just came through today. Oh, okay. oh yeah, I'm sorry. No. Sorry. That's okay. No, I just. Yeah. Under free cash to reduce tax levy, and then there's free cash for special article. And then under the amount to be raised, there's from free cash. And I guess I'm just trying to understand these months. Um, because I think this is the first year that I've seen it free cash in the to be raised line. And I'm just trying to understand what. So what basically, is. this is um, it, it mirror images what is part of the tax rate recap. Okay. G, I see. So this shows the balanced budget. <laughs> so it has the revenues versus the expense. And you can see they're the same dollar amount. So you see that it's a balanced. <laughs> right. So. So, but we're raising. It's not to be. It's it, it's being used. It's being used against 
to be weighed. So, okay. so it's up to the calculation that you are at risk. I see. Well, yeah, it's not it, So it, it's the. Uh, Is that the amount that's left in there? No. 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 So does that tie into the, the it's basically what we use what, it's, what, it's what we're electing to use out of our existing free cash to balance the budget. Is that no, because we're using four million, we're using three million as, as of that point. I mean things have changed. Five cents includes free cash for special articles. <laughs> 517 for special articles. The change. Yeah, the change. All right, well, I'll come by at some point and talk to you about it. So okay, I'm sure. sure. I don't understand. Okay. Do you right. have access to the um, DLS website? Do I want to have that? To I don't know. I, just, I didn't know if we'd ever been in yeah, the department. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Anyway. Okay. Uh, citizen speak now. Okay. Yeah. Media time. Um, there's a hand. Oh, yeah. John's the same thing. John, go ahead. Hello. Can you hear me? Okay. Okay, Shaw Isaacson, Berkshire Edge. What is the current bottom line for the proposed budget and how much total in cuts did you, uh, everybody, make tonight? I, I appreciate you asking that. We have no idea. There's no way we would know that right now. We don't have a spreadsheet running. It's going to take days to figure this out. Okay, well, Maybe. everything that was presented tonight be online on the website. Eventually, yes. Our last question, what's the next step in the process for this proposed budget? There's one item here that the finance committee still has to vote on, and it, is, it now moves on to town meeting. Okay, I appreciate your time. Have a good day. Thank you. Yeah, we'll email the handout so you have that. Okay, thank you. Eileen. Um, I didn't quite keep up with a couple of votes. Who, voted, <laughs> who voted how on the selectmen's three to two vote for the building inspector's budget? Lee voted no. And Garfield. And how did you peep, how did the selectmen vote on the fire capital? Fire capital was. Thank you. Oh, yeah. the page. Yeah. Was I'm pretty sure it was unanimous. Oh. It was unanimous once we removed the hundred thousand. Right. Yeah. So, so nothing for the engine. And correct. Voted. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank Anyone you. else? By unanimous consent, we are adjourned. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>